Welcome, party peoples, to the Whatnots 8th Annual Grand Prix. My name is Kyle Springer. I am joined by Melissa Wilkinson. Melissa, how are you? Hello. I'm doing good. Happy to be here for our end of the year pizza party. Yeah, a pizza party. We got some some drinks, some alcohol. We'll be looking back at all the stuff that we did and created this year on the podcast. Looking forward to next year. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll just be having a blast. We hope you do too. Uh, yeah. Eighth annual Grand Prix. Man, we've done eight of these. Uh, this is mm, Melissa. This is your sixth one. Um, mm. I, I was th- thinking about that because I think last year, I don't remember if we mentioned it or not. Last year would have been your fifth anniversary, but not f- five yeah. like full years because mm-hmm. I guess you came on in like April or March. I don't remember exactly when we did. Yeah, the it was first April. We marked it. On. We marked my five year anniversary. That's the yeah. week I decided to watch Napoleon Dynamite on the review show as yeah. my treat. I could <laughs> I could have picked anything. All I wanted was Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> Which is really funny because I happened to see an old description of a podcast that we did. It must have been the captain's log uh, where you in 2019, you were questioning if Napoleon Dynamite still holds up in 2019 so here here we are in 2023 answering the age-old question does napoleon dynamite still hold up (laughs) yes yeah um good stuff melissa you have pizza i have pizza um yeah all oh god God pizza you 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 have this is the uh grocery store frozen version of emos which is the big st louis pizza chain i thought i'd try them frozen it's still pretty good the st louis style is a thin crispy crust with a super gooey provel cheese and of course it must be cut into squares not in a wedge yep yep mine is a brick oven style red baron pepperoni pizza with red pepper flakes and parmesan cheese on top so don't like Classic. how he fought Snoopy. Do like how he makes pizzas. <laughs> right. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, I'm going to take a big bite of my pizza here because why not? We're just hanging out, having fun. <laughs> yeah, this is our most casual show. Yeah. Uh, we have a lot of pizza breaks, a lot of drinks. What are you drinking today, Kyle? Um, today I have a beer called neon sunshine um the can the can is like a like a cyan blue with like a a magenta pink on there they got some yellow uh this is from a brewery called stone cloud which is right here in oklahoma city they got started in 2017 this is a belgian style wit it's a white a a it's it's a wheat a a ale spiced with tangerine peel and coriander um, and it's pr- pretty good. We found it uh, just the other d- day. So I have a few of these. And then, of course, uh, for when we're getting to the hard stuff, oh, I have well, my proper 12 proper 12 Irish whiskey. Proper 12. Yeah, indeed. Indeed. Wow. Um, I just have so. my same uh, anonymous red blend. I have most of the time. Truly anonymous in this case. One of my coworkers brought this to me as a hostess gift when I had them over for Thanksgiving. Interesting. I I didn't pick this out. Don't know this brand. There you go. There you go, indeed. Um, Yeah, so I think a little bit down the road in 40 minutes-ish here, I think Ignacio should be joining us. Um, of, co- of course, uh, both Melissa and I are uh, up here in the United States in central time, and he's all the way down in Chile, which I don't even know what time I zone he's in. He it was might always confusing also be even in when Central's I was in time. I think he's like below us, just very, very far below us. I, he might well, they, be in central time or just a time zone over. His time is not wildly different. Because I, I do remember when, when we had Crossplay, our video game podcast, and I still lived on the East Coast, 
they they would also do daylight savings but it was not lined up with ours oh yeah theirs was Mm -hmm. different so we would go into into it and then like three months after they would start it and so yeah there was like weird things where we'd be on the same time sometimes sometimes we wouldn't sometimes we would for like three months and that, that that was it um but i don't know he should be joining us later uh in the podcast so we're gonna save some of our just kind of hanging out banter uh <clears throat> and all of that till he he get, get, gets here and uh it'll be a little bit more of a party when he gets here yeah, yeah. business first party later the mullet of podcasts <laughs> good stuff okay um <clears throat> so if you are uh, well first let's address the grand prix right yeah uh so we've done eight of these and long time listeners might be like no you haven't (laughs) you haven't done eight of these this is your first one uh and that is both true and untrue uh every year at the end of the year we do like to do this live stream this podcast which goes out onto all of our podcast feeds um and traditionally Additionally, we've called it our like anniversary retrospective. Um, and that's a mouthful to say. Uh, it's kind of confusing. Also, I, like I, I get it. I know what an anniversary retrospective is, but like who who else does an anniversary? Re- like no one actually calls it that stuff. It might be like an end of the year party or like mm-hmm. a d- celebration or a birthday party or an anniversary or who who knows what. Um, so yeah, it was just a bit of a mouthful. Also, this year I've gotten into Formula One, uh, and each of their races is called a Grand Prix, um, which caught Melissa caught you off guard a little bit since you're not as familiar because I think you were thinking like the Grand Prix is like the end tournament it is yeah. the like yeah the, the world grand... series of it yeah right yeah the super bowl of it yeah which there's there, there really isn't that so every race is a grand prix in whatever country or city they're they're in right um and so <laughs> then we were like what if we just change the name of our retrospective to grand prix because how fun is that <laughs> We've explained it more than I ever intended on explaining it. I think it's very funny to take this title that means a high class international <laughs> competition and it's two people in the Midwest eating frozen pizza and saying, remember when we watched that movie? That one was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to that movie, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know which one you are. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so, yeah, that's that's why we're now calling it. Uh, grand prix even though the back ground that we're on still says retrospective uh on this i was gonna do our pilots club back ground but i don't have it set up to have three hosts for whenever (coughs) ignacio uh gets here so i was like let me just do the one that we have that is the retrospective um but anyways we got some business to attend to here. We got some awards to give out today. Uh, we got some superlatives. We got some uh, changes coming to the the whatnots for this next year. We'll get into that as well. Uh, but Melissa, I'm assuming we're going to start right off the bat here with our awards. Yeah. Do we want to list everything we did on the review show this year as a refresher? Why not? I think we did that last year, too. too, too. It's fun. Yeah. This year, we kicked it off. We enter every year with a franchise. This year, we watched John Wick's one through three in preparation for John Wick four. Then we watched the magical girl anime Puella Magi Madoka Magica. Swiss Army Man. Mm -hmm. Our first ongoing monthly series was all the Fast and Furious movies. We divided those into chunks of three. We read some Gail Simone Red Sonia comics. We listened to the audio drama The Left Right Game. We watched the Korean mystery thriller sex movie The Handmaiden. It's a great one. We watched 
We watched the edge of your seat thrills of Michael Clayton. Mm -hmm. We read the comics Shazam and the Seven Magic Lands. We watched the Peacock. Some of these are so hard to describe. Angeline, the one and only Angeline. We watched mm -hmm. her show. We watched Arcane League of Legends. We watched the original 1993 Super Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> we read the 2016 satirical Flintstones comics. As previously mentioned, my five-year anniversary treat to me. I didn't give myself a watch. I let myself watch Napoleon Dynamite. Our next ongoing monthly series was the sitcom The Good Place. Watched all four seasons of that. We watched the entirety of the old Disney Channel cartoon, The Spectacular Spider-Man. We watched slow black and white car driving drama, The Wages of Fear. We watched Crawl. We watched Clone High, the original season of that. We watched The Watermelon Woman. Mm, yeah. Adaptation was our Nick Cage movie for this year for our summertime cage match. We watched, uh, we read the mini deaths of Layla Starr, a graphic novel you love. We mm -hmm. watched the Brady Bunch movie, the, again, the 90s satirical take on the old sitcom. To honor the return of Futurama, we watched a selection of original episodes of Futurama. We read the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers comics. We watched Newsies, the Broadway musical, a filmed version of the stage musical that you can find on Disney+. Plus. We listened to season one of the audio drama Mockery Manor. Our next ongoing monthly series was that we read all of the original Mike Mignola run of Hellboy. We watched season one of True Detective. For Shame Timber, we had a double dose of Giamatti as you brought us straight out of Compton and I brought us sideways. For Halloween, we read all of Afterlife with Archie. We watched the Iranian vampire movie spaghetti western skateboarding action adventure a girl walks home alone at night we watched mm -hmm. the faculty we watched season one of mind hunter we watched the ingmar bergman film persona we watched under the silver lake we watched the velocipaster we watched the mask <laughs> <laughs> we did yep <laughs> right just a couple steps uh we easily devolved from ingmar bergman to the mask <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> uh, and then we capped off the year with the Bob's Burgers holiday special. We did indeed. I think that's a good this good handful of episodes. Variety, yeah. This year we had a couple themes emerged. We had adaptations of well-known properties with like those Flintstones comics, those mm -hmm. uh, Power Rangers comics, Brady the Mario Bunch Brothers movie. movie. Yeah, yeah. We watched those. We watched some slow black and white movies that ended up being way more thrilling than we thought they would be. We're like, oh, my God, the woman dropped a drinking glass. What's going to happen next? Yeah, riveting. Other themes that emerged this year were alumni of Cheers. Sure. They, yep. <laughs> we'd some of them show up several times. We had a couple hot women on women sex scenes. Hell yeah. <laughs> Good for Doing us. the handmaiden <laughs> and the watermelon woman. Yeah. <laughs> An interesting addition to the year. Happy to see it. Indeed. I also like that we had we we did stuff like the Fast and the Furious, but then yeah, there was the wages of right. Fire, which is like all about fast and then no slow. We we watched Arc <laughs> Arc Arcane League of Legends, one of the best adaptations of a video game property. True, true. Period. Followed up immediately by Super Mario Bros. from 1993, which is considered one of the worst. Uh, so we we had some some opposites g g g g yeah. g g g g going on. All about dichotomies this year. Yeah, we did. We did. Um, I, I was also because as as I was thinking about our awards and stuff, I was even looking for like, man, what was the best thing that we covered? Like what my fa favorite thing is, which is one of the awards we'll get out here. And it was kind of tough. There was a lot, mm -hmm. a lot of things. I'm just like, oh, man, this show is so good. Or that movie was awesome. Or or like, yeah, that, there's, there was so much stuff that it was just like, this is this was all so good. Um. So, yeah, good, good handful of episodes we did over on 
the review show. Melissa, what uh, what award do we want to start out with here? So here's here's the ones that I have uh, written written down. Here's the categories that I I have. You might have a yes. few extra. You might or I I might have an extra one or two. <clears throat> um, we have our our favorite thing from the r- r- review show. Our least favorite and or most forgettable uh thing yeah. that we, we did on the review show. Our biggest surprise. Uh, the Skin Boy Memorial Award for Supporting Character. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Who would you most likely want to go on a date with? Yes. Uh, what would you want to go back to? Like in, in case we did, like we only covered season one or we mm. only read a volume or two. Uh, and then best performance is, yeah. is what, what I have. Do you have uh, anything that I don't have? No, that's all of them. That's all we okay. traditionally do. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, so, yeah, what one do you want to start with? What were your favorite things this year? Oh, man, so many. Uh, so the one that I ended up writing down was Swiss Army Man. Um, ah, me too! Yeah, I loved that one so much. I I knew after having watched everything everywhere all at once, I'd probably be in for a real treat watching the the Daniels' other movie that they did before that one. Um but it's it has such a ridiculous premise with this guy stuck on an island and he finds a farting corpse and somehow survives and make it and like the whole thing is just ridiculous. Um and but it's so heartfelt. It's it so really sincere. Is. It's so sincere. It's so good. The story is fascinating. Uh, some great character moment. Like, just good character depth with all of this. Yeah. And it, it was just a blast. I ba- basically watched it twice back to back because I, I watched it once uh, for the, the podcast. I was supposed to watch it with my girlfriend. Uh, and I think this was in the middle of me having COVID or mm. like right around that time. And I, I don't remember if I had it or she had it. And we were supposed to watch it together, but I ended up watching it on my own and was just like, holy shit, this is so good. Babe, huh? We need to watch this again. Here we go. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I watched that twice, but um, I, I think we can get into it a little bit down the road but there were a few other things that were like these were my favorite like new to me movies this mm-hmm. year not necessarily uh like they came out in 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 this year but they were all kind of up there and tied for just we just did some good stuff man like a- adaptation was fantastic um uh, mm-hmm. i i think you've even a a girl walks home alone at, at night. Just incredible. Um, mm-hmm. But I think I had to give that to Swiss Army Man from The Daniels. I wrote down, I was generous, and I wrote down a list of top three movies and top three shows. Okay, My cool, top three cool. movies were Swiss Army Man, The Handmaiden, and Michael Clayton. Yes, Handmaiden, Michael Clayton. <laughs> great, great <laughs> movies. Incredible. Yeah. So good. And my top three shows were Angeline, True Detective, and Mindhunter. Yes, absolutely. Would agree with those. Yeah. And, and Angeline is one of the ones that I, I thought of um, just with how inventive it is. It plays with narrative in in the way that this person in real life was always very vague about who she is exactly where she came from Mm. there was conflicting report like all that stuff and even the show kind of does the same thing to that like at the end of like how how true is i mean it's true but like how 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 much of what we're taking as fact actually is fact here Mm. um yeah, so it's it, yeah, th- that was fast fascinating. Absolutely, absolutely. Um man, yeah. Um I would you say that was your biggest surprise of the year, Angeline? It was not, actually. Um I I did really really like that one, but I think the way the way you pitched it to me 
was spot mm-hmm. on. And so I it, like okay. it kind of it kind of kind of was what I expected um, in, in that sense, but also not but not the biggest surprise. My biggest surprise to me was a girl walks home alone at night, which tied nice. with Kroll. I also have Kroll. Yeah. I, so at the beginning of the year, you had this goal of, you know what? I don't know a lot about sword and sorcery. Right. Yeah. And I'm like, that's true. I don't know a lot either. And first we read those Red Sonia comics. And then you, you try to insist we do more sword and sorcery. And I'm like, I think Red Sonia covered it. I, what else do we need out of this genre? And we were going to watch Kroll. And I was like, I, I like this better than Beastmaster or Conan the Barbarian. Yeah. Mostly because I'm like, I've heard the name Crawl, but I don't know what Crawl means. Is Crawl a person? Is Crawl a place? <laughs> Is Crawl a state of mind? <laughs> <laughs> I have reached Crawl, the Zen like, state of Crawl. <laughs> for that reason, I picked it, but I'm like, oh, I'm not really into Crawl. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I'm up on your whole mission to insist we do sword and sorcery three times scroll was so charming i was expecting yeah. something that was more when i say dank i don't mean dank like the good weed i mean dank like <laughs> i'm in a wet basement i'm sweaty i'm grimy i thought it was going to be one of those 80s action movies that felt like that mm-hmm. like why does this movie feel humid <laughs> why do i feel gross watching this <laughs> crawl is a lot more like the never-ending story or something it's a lot more of a fantasy movie it's got a fun gang of characters who are on an adventure with this like sweet blonde like <laughs> safe yeah. boyfriend character and they live in the land of crawl i learned crawl is the planet where they live yeah but it's also it has sci-fi elements yeah. to it. That was kind of why I pitched it. It was like it's it's kind of sword and sorcery, but has a different spin on it. It's not your traditional Conan the Barbarian. It feels like it mixes some Star Wars in there, maybe mixes some Lord of the Rings in there. Uh, yeah, and it just it ended up being this weird but del- like delightful mm-hmm. surprise of just like i was not expecting that like and, and 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 it's it's not a great movie like it's not it's not it's no, no. ingmar bergman's persona or or <laughs> something right but it, like it's delightful in a way that yes. we just were not expecting so that yeah, yeah. absolutely was a big su- surprise um, I watched it and I'm like, I'm mad I didn't get to see this when I was eight. I would right? have yeah. loved this at eight. Yeah. <laughs> Crawl is for the whole family. Indeed. Um, and then I also had uh, A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night as my biggest mm-hmm. su- surprise. As Such well. a combo, that movie. Yeah. Like, e- I think describing it is even hard to do like what is this it's a vampire movie okay it is but not what you think of when you think of a vampire movie really mm. is it a spaghetti like a, a modern noir spaghetti western i mean yeah but also not really it's not a western per se but it, it's just this odd mix of stuff and absolutely had one of the coolest scenes <laughs> out of anything we watched th- this year just captivating um yeah this was the year of things that captivated us that we never would have guessed that like seems so mundane on the surface but when you yeah. watch it happen you're like i'm riveted yes yeah abs- absolutely so those those two were my biggest surprises um what about Least favorite and or most forgettable. Mm. Let's see. I. I might say Madoka Magica. We mm. you had a good point in bringing it on the show that we'd never done like a magical girl anime before. And I've I've found I have a hard time clicking with anime, especially anime about young people, which feels like sure. m- yeah. most of what it is. 
I get Most real burned out on uh, stuff. Most of them, it's a high schooler who is a chosen one. I'm like, there's a limit on how many times I want to watch high schooler who is chosen one. I'm finding as I get older, I want to watch adults doing adult things. Yeah. <laughs> that stuff is out there. So that, right. I think it was a good show, certainly. There were interesting things about it, like that room full of chairs. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's but a, that's I don't think. Uh, but I don't think that's an area I'd return to again. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, just, like that's that's what I mean by like it didn't connect with you because I think that yes. is a fan. It's a fantastic show. Mm. It is also very dark. Like what mm. you what you would yeah. think of for yes. like a magical girl anime. It's happy. It's bright. It's colorful. Like they have powers. Go team girl power. Right. It ends up be b- being kind of like about death and suicide mm-hmm. and all sorts of stuff and it's just like whoa okay this was heavy uh so yeah i can see why it might not connect with people um for for, for stuff like that or you might be like me and, and you're just like hell yeah let's go let's do this right <laughs> so uh my least favorite thing was shazam and the seven magic lands okay I just kind of forgot it. Like, as I was scrolling through the list of stuff, mm. we did, I was like, oh, yeah, we did do a Shazam comic. Right. It's, I guess. It, I, think, I think it was pretty good. It seemed like it was targeted at a Shazam aged audience. And Young, like, if I knew a 12 year old, yeah. I'd totally give this to a 12 year old. And it did have some fun. Some of those seven magic lands do look really cool. I do mm-hmm. like the setting hopping that we get. The sort of eeriness of the kid kingdom with King Kid. It's like right. once you yep. turn 18, you're forced to work in like a metropolis style factory toiling all day mm-hmm. so that mm-hmm. little kids can ride a Ferris wheel. There's something sort of it's an old school Twilight Zone haunting about that. Sure. Yeah. Or I mean, that that seems to be a popular genre nowadays too. The like theme park, but there's a darker side, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Which we we also did mockery manner, which I know yeah. on that episode I didn't really connect with that one, but I still liked. Like they, there was a lot yeah. of talent there. Mm-hmm. Um, that I liked, and it was the same kind of like it's it's a theme park. But there's murder happening in and around this mm. pop park here. Um, so interesting stuff there. Interesting stuff. So, yeah. Least favorites. OK. Um, are we on to the Skin Boy Memorial Award for supporting Ooh. character? Do you do you want to do the performances? Sure. Let's yeah. award the actors and then award like the characters. Absolutely, absolutely. Best performance. Who who is who is your best performance out of the whole thing? This show's very good all around, but I'm gonna say Matthew McConaughey in mm. True Detective. He's That's a great. One. <laughs> he's so unnatural. He's so severe. Down to his physicality, where like he's like the focus in his eyes and like his stiff stilted posture like there's a bit in the movie where woody harrelson is in the car waiting for him to leave a crime scene he's looking at him and he's like he doesn't even walk like a normal person right yeah (laughs) yeah those are he has a fantastic performance um with that it's it's interesting because there were some that like i'm i tried to weight things a little differently for me right mm-hmm. like I, I knew mcconaughey and true detective phenomenal yeah. um i don't remember the actor's name but the guy in mindhunter who played uh this the, the, the like main serial killer yes. and they're just yeah. pheno- phenomenal stuff great but i great al- serial also, killers all around right yeah i've i've also seen those shows before and so i felt a little like well, everyone knows those shows are kind of <laughs> incredible and those sure. performances are incredible. So maybe I'll find something else that I like wasn't aware of or um What was like a revelation that. to you then? Uh to me it was incredible to see Andrew Garfield in Under the <clears throat> Silver Lake. Uh, yes. His his character is just kind of this 
to every man Joe Schmo, but is maybe a serial killer, but also maybe not. But you don't know. Like yeah. he just he plays this guy that feels like he has he's lost down the rabbit hole. He is disheveled. Mm-hmm. He is a mess. He can't get his life together. But he's also trying to piece together this mystery, this conspiracy that is that he thinks is around him. And he just it's so weird. And he has that he has a scene where he's in the bathtub washing off the like skunk spray that sprayed him not long ago. But he's having this conversation with a friend of, of his that I think sealed the deal for me where he's he's he is doing the like look i know i sound crazy (laughs) like i i'm seeing things where i shouldn't see things but there's something there and it just it felt so normal to me in a a strange way and i i I was just like yes i i believe him i believe his character and that's like who he he is and which is fun it was fun to watch because i really only knew him as uh (coughs) spider-man Which they yeah. also do have a Spider-Man <laughs> joke in 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 that. So that's another performance where the entire physicality changes. Yes. Yeah. The way he moves around. There's a scene where he's like jumping up and down trying to hop a fence that is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Even just the way he like moves through the like the the, the jungle like park that they have there mm-hmm. that he often takes his d- d- dogs on walk when he's when he when he's scared he kind of like shuffles his way through when he's walking down the neighborhood with the book <laughs> and all the dogs are barking at him and he's yeah. just like power walking <laughs> down the street it's just yeah just a a weird performance but i was captivated yeah. um mm-hmm. so yeah he he was my my best performance There you okay. go. Uh, our, our Skin Boy Memorial Award for supporting players. Yes. Mine goes out to Karen and John Wick. Yeah, also, rest in, rest in peace to Lance yes. Reddick. Yeah. Yeah. I felt that that was 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 good. And I, I think I know we didn't cover it on the show, but seeing a younger version of this character in the Continental uh on peacock i I was i was just like oh this is cool like i get to see more of him and understand this character a little Mm -hmm. bit better and i think that actor also knocked it out of the park but um yeah i i I think just in 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 terms of like who is truly there to support you right yes would be karen and in john wick is that how you say it is it maybe K- like karen K- karen chiron Ch- Charon, K- Charon. it's like the moon of pluto i, I right. know what yeah, it is the, but i also don't remember how you pronounce that the the character of myth but not exactly Charon. yeah yeah um but yeah i mean he was he was just he's always there supporting winston um mm. so and the, and the whole everybody who comes through the doors of the continental i love when sure, he makes yeah. friends with john wick's dog that's yeah. so sweet <laughs> absolutely so yeah he, he he gets my skin boy memorial award for supporting character the first person i thought of i truly like to award this very special man who's like not really a man he's more of a construct and his mm. dick is a wind chime I'm giving mine to Derek from The Good Place. <laughs> Is, did, was the wind chime dick a factor in you picking him? <laughs> Can you say that about anybody else? Can you say it about anybody else? Um, no, I I love Jason Manzukis in general. Mm-hmm. Uh, also a veteran of the John Wick franchise, playing the guy who's like, TikTok, Mr. Wick. So Indeed. we got to see him twice this year. That was special. I, <laughs> I just think it's funny when he says his name, when he becomes like a Pokemon and all he can say is his name. Yeah. When he I'm tries Derek. to be high class. <laughs> Derek? Derek. Derek. <laughs> when he tries to be high class and he's wearing the tuxedo and he's got a martini like he's James Bond, but it's, it's entirely full, of, full like, of olives. Yeah. <laughs> or there's it's just one whole lemon and no liquid in a martini glass. He's got a lot of good running jokes. 
And I like that by the end of that series, he like they've rebooted him so many times he has ascended to a higher plane. Yeah. And he's truly a wise Derek. Yeah. And he 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 I, does end up being very supportive of uh mm-hmm. I, I, what I don't remember her Janet? name who was yeah, no, uh or the Min- is it Mindy who was stuck in the medium place? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um even though they don't always get along there like I, I just feel like he is he's always trying to be supportive and trying to be like i was made to be the the the, the spouse right yeah so he, he just he tries to be the spouse i also wrote down as potential skin boys this year pedro i i vote for him i vote for yep. him every time <laughs> pedro gets it was my really vote. fun there's a lot of great supporting characters, Napoleon Dynamite, who seem like just sort of interesting oddballs, but also seem like sweet people. I was thinking, like, LaFonda seems like a real sweetheart. I bet she's great for Napoleon to have as a sister in law. I think she'd support him. Yep. I want to see what they talk about at like Thanksgiving. Absolutely. <laughs> I love Deb and her entrepreneurial spirit making boondoggle keychains and taking glamour shots. <laughs> glamour it's a shots rich by world Deb. Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, yeah. And go into the world of comics. In those Power Rangers comics, Bulk and Skull are great filling yeah. out that world. I love Absolutely. that use of Bulk and Skull. They were good. They're the like live streamers down on down on on the the, 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 the scene. They're kind of like the the Flash Thompson of the Spider-Man yes. comics where they they hate Peter like he hates Peter Parker, but he loves Spider-Man <laughs> and he's the head of the Spider-Man fan club and all of that stuff. Mm-hmm. And these guys are the same way. They are the high school bullies but also are like Power Ranger fan number one and two. Like, here they are. <laughs> um, and they're... So yeah, yeah they, they soften them as bullies and makes them a lot more sympathetic. Like, with them following the Power Rangers around, it shows that they care about their community. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. the bridge got saved. We love the local bridge. We love the community center. It saved some bodies another too. day. Yeah. Yes. Very much the the spirit of the New Yorkers from the Sam Raimi Spider Man movies is what yeah, or, Hulk and Skull have, or 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 the uh, it, it, they they don't quite have the like main character syndrome that Peter Quill ha- has, mm-hmm. uh, but they are the like I'm one of the idiots who lives in this city. I want my city to be saved. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um. Continuing with, with with people, yes, dream date. Mm. Who 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 did you have as your dream date? Finally, I can say this joke that I wrote down a year ago. Amazing. You've heard of hashtag justice for Han. What about hashtag just me for Han? <laughs> Good one. <laughs> I think we can all agree. Han, extremely charming. I want extremely him to extremely dateable. I, yes. Right, right. I uh, long also term a great or short supporting term. It, character. Any amount of time you spend with Han seems great. He'll give you snacks. Yeah. He has so many snacks. That's all the that the back seat is. That's all the glove compartment, all the trunk. When that car blew up, so did hundreds of Fritos also. <laughs> Sad day. Sad day indeed. <laughs> That's a good one. Han as a date. Uh my dream date. Let, 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 let me describe them first. They are uh, they are very successful in everything that they do. They are ride or die in the sense that they if 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 you're in a fight, they will fight with, with you. Uh, my dream date is Carol from the Velocipaster. Oh, uh, the, oh my God. <laughs> she's, she's a the, doctor. She's a lawyer. She's a doctor, lawyer, sex worker. She fights ninjas when when shit goes <sighs> down. Uh, Carol's like, a great she, answer. A, like absolutely seems like a good person. Uh, yeah, just like and and now that she d- 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 does all of that stuff, would have incredible stories. Like yes, tell me more about your adventures with Frankie Mermaid. 
Uh, yes. I, how <laughs> how many ninjas did you t- 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 take out while you're right? B- 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 yeah. Just like, oh man, I I I, I think I it'd, it. it'd be real fun to go on a date with, with with her. Gotta say, also that Velocipaster was such a hunk. That guy's really <laughs> handsome. <laughs> he almost made the list on looks alone. I want to give a uh two special awards. One okay. to most condensed hotties in one show. Like mm. all six main characters of this show are all distinct, remarkable hotties. And that's the main cast of The Good Place. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> you want a, a little feisty lady. You want a silver fox. You, you want a Jason Mendoza. Every <laughs> variety you could wish for, Good Place has for you. Hot, Indeed. not robot, not lady. <laughs> Any option right? you need. Sexy mailman professor. A tall, glamorous <laughs> Tahani. They're all there. And a best repeat hottie award goes to Anna Torv. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I, uh, I, when I was looking for what awards we were giving out, I went back to last year's uh, Grand Prix. And, uh, yeah, when 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 we got to like who our like best performances are, our dream dates, all of that that stuff, it, it like Anna Torv came up multiple times. We were I was just like I have a crush on her. She's incredible, mm-hmm. um, and I still do. She's great. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, okay, good year. Last but not least. <clears throat> What uh, what series, what property would you want to go back to? All right. I do intend to watch the second season of Mindhunter because we only mm-hmm. watched season one. I know it will be painful because the show had leanings towards a season three. That's never really going to happen. Uh, I also intend to go back to True Detective. It's helpful since those are standalone sure. seasons. Yeah. I can pick anyone up at any time. Um, I don't. I Maybe I'll watch the other ones and then come back to two. People tell me two isn't great, but I'm not clear yeah. on two is entirely skippable or not. But it is. I like to watch. OK, well, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, um, season two. It, it 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 is skippable in the sense that I, I I just I don't think the story is as good the like nothing story wise narrative wise connects to that stuff, um, but there there is like a very small Easter egg in season three that connects back to season one, but that's okay cool kind of it each I'll each one there. is standalone. And there will be a season four coming out in just a couple weeks. Yeah. Subtitled True Detective Night Country. Uh, it's going to be set in Alaska and star Jodie Foster. Yeah. Sounds and very also promising. Not the original creators. Um, oh, it's not Nick Palaz- Palazzo mm. or whoever. It's also not uh, Carrie J- Joji Fukunawa. Fukunaga. Yeah, I'm, I'm reading here on TV Guide. Uh, Nick Pizzolatto's contract with HBO ended. Uh, The new take on True Detective is in the works from executive producer Barry Jenkins and writer director Issa Lopez. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm interested to see what it is um, and how 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 they do with that. So cool. This is one I could watch live. Yeah. Exciting. Indeed. 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 Okay, so for mine, my uh, the thing that I will most want to go back to is actually Clone High. Huh? Um, yeah, we 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 watched the original uh sh- show, and it, it it took me a little while to get into it. it the, the first couple episodes, I was like, I don't know if I like this or not. Um, but by the end of that show, I think it ends up having a real heart to the show. Um, and just some like it, it's it's a show that's really easy to like reminisce on and be like, oh, you remember that one time where they, where they did that? Right. Yeah, it was good. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, but they they did a much more recent season 
which was kind of a re- it was like soft reboot slash continuation. Um, and I, I, I haven't heard too much about it, but with uh, it be, be being the same creators and the same creators of the Into the Spider-Verse movies, mm. uh, the after party on Apple TV, which we covered the first season of, uh, on the review show, I recently watched season two and it was phenomenal. Uh, yeah, just want to see what else they do. So, Clone High. Clone High. Good pick. Indeed. Uh, well, I, th- I think that's kind of all the awards and stuff. Did you have any other just kind of like, hey, shout out to this or <sighs> shout out to that? Hmm. I don't know. Ignacio is going to be here soon. Do we want to run through our plans for next year? Um. Let's see here. What what time is it? It is one fifty four at the moment. We are recording this in the afternoon. Um. Yeah. He he said he should be joining around two p.m. I'm not sure if that's going to be exactly at two or yeah. not. So. I would say if you have any other shout outs, let's do those now. Then oh, let's do boy. a break for housekeeping. Um, oh, good idea. Yeah, I don't. Then, yeah. I did not prepare miscellaneous shout outs. Uh, just, just ones that. <laughs> do just, you have any? Yeah, I mean, I like I. I don't even have any any written down. But it, you know, if you're just looking th- through uh, the stuff that we we did here, yeah, I think we had a really really nice run. Going from Persona to Under the Silver Lake to the Velocipaster, I think that was a lot of f- <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fun. Um, yeah, for our oh, four month, best- I-, I was just hmm? gonna say e- e- even uh, for our horror month, the the faculty um, is fun. really really good. Uh, we also did just get a note from Ignacio that says he is running a bit late. Um, so I'll give that a, a thumbs up so that he knows I saw it. Um, yeah. Uh, I w- was watching a movie the other day that m- that referenced the movie Sideways. Oh, um, what are you and, watching? Uh, well, well I'll, I'll get to that in a little, little bit. Okay. Here, but uh, but yeah, yeah, that one I, I think I was not expecting to like as much as I d- did. Um, that was a good one. So shout out to that. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, shout out to the Brady Bunch movie. Also a movie that I think (laughs) is like, uh, is underrated. Like, of course, people don't really talk about that movie all that much, but it's secretly pretty good. Like, yes. Yeah. Uh, adaptation our our nicholas cage match uh that we we did that movie was incredible the watermelon watermelon, which we yeah i enjoyed that a lot did on a recommendation or like an an easter egg recommendation from the yellow jackets television show they recommend it in 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 that one um uh shout out to spectacular spectacular spider-man which unfortunately i think just got taken off disney plus oh Um, dang one of their 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 stupid uh like cost cutting measures we're not gonna put our own shows on there um so that sucks but that, that is a spectacular show uh we've already mentioned angeline michael clayton the hand talking about best performances i don't want us to take yeah. jim carrey and the mask for granted i don't want society to forget <laughs> how incredibly skilled the mask is as a performance piece it's very physical uh j- j- just the, the the makeup still looks incredible um i i, I just like the like g- green face mask thing it just it looks interesting it looks good and then you you came with that detail that i guess he also had in like false teeth or something and he like he's, yeah he's acting around false teeth yeah that the, in a way that was like supposed to change how he spoke and did all that stuff but he found a way to act around it and like you i, I don't think you ever would have known it's just like man he's good 
I I was watching a I think a dead meat video on some horror movie that had a character in extensive body prosthetics. And the host is saying, you know, putting on this whole costume took five hours. But then as production went on, the makeup team got it down to two hours. Anytime I hear that, that is the best feeling in the world. I feel like jumping up and cheering whenever a makeup team can reduce the time of an extensive makeup job. (laughs) Whenever I hear those, that's the those little clickbaity things. It's like, this will warm your heart. This will restore your faith in humanity. Do you need to smile today? And normally it's like a toddler who's friends with a puppy, who's friends with a, another weird animal or something like that. Right, Grandma yeah. hugs returning soldier. I love makeup team. Who's like, <laughs> you're not going to sit here if for six hours anymore. We got it down to two, everybody. Woo. Big NASA claps like when you land on the moon. Everybody clap. I feel yep. that clapping in my soul. Uh just talking just on the subject of makeup. Cool. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. I think we had a good year over on the review show. It was some fan- fantastic stuff. Um I think with that, however, let's take a quick break for housekeeping. Um and when we get back, yeah, uh, hopefully Ignacio will be with us soon. But yeah, we can just start hanging out a little, a little bit till he gets mm-hmm. here. Um, and uh, yeah, that'll be it. So we will be right back. Here at The Whatnots, we make multiple different shows and a lot of hard work goes into making them. So we would love it if you check them all out. If you enjoy our shows, patreon.com slash The Whatnots is the best place to show your support. For just a dollar a month, you can get early access to episodes and at our $3 tier, a Patreon exclusive podcast, The Pilots Club. You can even get a shout out and thank you on most of our shows at the $5 tier. And if you're one of our patrons already, thank you so much. It means the world to us. You can find out more information on our website, thewhatnots.com, as well as your favorite podcasting platform of choice. When you type in The Whatnots, all of our shows will pop up right there. Just don't forget to give us a nice rating and review if you like the shows. You can also find us on YouTube and Twitch for video versions of the shows, trailer reactions, and live streams. And lastly, we have merch. If you want to grab yourself a shirt or a hoodie or a mug or something else, head over to thewhatnots.com slash store to pick up some merch today. All right, we are back. I am back. It's just me. Melissa is still... uh, up and about but once again a big shout out to all of our patreon supporters thank you so much for supporting us it means a ton we love you a lot we appreciate it um this month here in december 2023 over on the pilots club uh we got to talk about unicorn warriors eternal we watched the first two episodes of that show because it was like a two-part pilot um, which then begged the question on the show, should a pilot be a two-parter? Um, yes. Yeah, <laughs> it absolutely can be, I think. Um, but there is some incredible animation work in that show that is worth ch- ch- checking out. Mixes of different styles, all that good stuff. Uh, Melissa, now that you are back do you want to yeah. uh remind everyone myself included what are we doing for the uh <laughs> the month of january for the pilots club we're going to be watching episode one of the recent hulu show reboot not the 90s cgi cartoon reboot was a show unfortunately it's already been canceled r.i.p reboot It's a show about a fictional sitcom getting rebooted and all of the cast reuniting years later uh, and figuring out their new dynamic while they play the same old characters. I've heard it's a lot of fun. Cool. Good stuff. So, yeah, keep an eye out. Uh, We will be recording that in early January uh, and it will be available to all of our Patreon supporters at the $3 tier and above, which is where you can get the Pilots Club. Um, 
over on the review show we already did a big list of everything we covered uh this year on the review show but most recently we did our bob's burgers holiday special uh we watched it was season eight episode six and seven i believe uh entitled the bleakening it was a two-parter uh we had a, a fun time talking about that real light real br- breezy a much shorter episode uh than what we normally do there but just a a good way to end the year uh then over on the captain's log uh we got to our 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 final episode of the year we talked about a whole buttload of movies and television shows that we've been watching and catching up on um i asked melissa for a an off-broadway recommendation uh, I have the opportunity to go to one of these plays uh, throughout the year. I'm not sure when uh, the one that you re- 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 recommended is in the year off the top of my, my, my head. But uh, yeah, got to ask for a recommendation. We got to uh, get an update on your fantasy movie league uh, that you've been keeping up with. Uh, so lots of good fun stuff over on the captain's log. Uh, and last but not least, over on the Reactor Core, uh, not much recent stuff. We do have a Loki Season 2 and the Marvels spoiler cast. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I know Melissa and I, we talked about uh, like once Season 2 of Marvel's What If is is all out. So we will we'll, we'll do a roundup of all of that. So be on the lookout for that down the road. Um The last little bit of housekeeping I will say is stay tuned because we do have some changes coming up to uh, the way we will be doing things uh, here at the Whatnots um, for this next year. So we'll get into that very shortly. Um, But yeah, that's about it. Can we do it it now? Do do you want to? I would like to. it It feels... It feels scary to keep saying there are changes and not explain what the changes are. I I know I don't it's, like it, to live it's, it's, in that it's, space it's, in between. It's it's the we need to talk uh, right? conversation, right? And you just never it's know. Not Is that scary. a good thing? Is that a bad thing? Uh. It's not scary, folks. Next year, we instead of doing one re- review show a week and one captain's log a week, we're going to start alternating between the two and do yeah. each every other week so on the average month you'll probably get two review shows and two captain's logs the yeah. reactor core will probably continue as normal yes yeah um the reason for this is since i have moved out to oklahoma is the, the way that i spend my free time has completely changed from the, the way i y- used to uh back in virginia and th- that happens that's life right you find yourself in different situations uh you grow you get a, a partner a spouse a girlfriend a boyfriend and your life changes right you or, get a new job or I, I don't know yeah yeah or you're me and you uh, you're still alone but now you host bar trivia a night sure, or two right. every week yeah <laughs> Yeah, and so I, I've always kind of wanted to slow the roll down a little bit, pump mm. the brakes, if you will, just a bit. Um, not to say, like, hey, we're sunsetting things, we're stopping. No, we're still g- g- going strong. Um, but I, I think to just find that better kind of work-life balance, so to speak, um, and and yeah, to make sure Melissa has t- t- time to do bar trivia and have a social <laughs> life and uh, go on dates or find a new job. I I, I don't know what the what the <laughs> f- like, future like holds. My, I have um, enough jobs. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 yeah, just for for us to be able to I like feel like we have some downtime and not every yeah. waking moment is okay. I need to watch this for the podcast. I need to do this for the podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, we are slowing things down a bit. Yeah. Um, And talking about the review show specifically, we are also going to move away from the pitch structure, which has been great fun. I do really like the pitch structure, but as part of just making this a little bit easier, making it fit into our adult lives better, 
it's going to be more of a mutual decision. It's going to be mm-hmm. more collaborative. I, I would hope to spend future review. We've done so much exploring and I've really valued all the exploration time, but well, and, and frequently it has paid off, but while I'm watching crawl, I'm also like, there's so many things like I know am, is in my wheelhouse. I know I would like, I know Kyle would like, and we've just never made the room for it. And I'd like to start spending the room we have on things like that. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. There's, there's been things that like we've wanted to bring to the review show that we just couldn't ever really find the time. Um, Or like, it's just not a good fit, but we still like, we would love to talk about this certain show or this comic or, and it's just with the way things worked it never really worked out for us to do some of that stuff so it's time for us to yeah start putting those things on the calendar uh to plan certain things out ahead of time for Mm -hmm. uh melissa to be like you know what we're finally watching this next week here here we go Um, well i'm i'm not i want there to be less decreeing i really do want this to be like both of us fully agree yes i am into covering the entirety of that thing um yeah i mean there yeah there there will be some stuff that we planned but uh the way we've broken it up is that melissa you have like seven free picks i I have seven free picks it's most of that stuff will be agreed on uh of i really don't want it to be picks I i really want it to be like not a rotation between a real kyle ass thing and a real melissa ass thing it's like what do both of us like like i will go visit my parents two or three times a month and i'll go over there and my dad will come in the living room and he'll put on fishing and i'm like (laughs) dad so much of my taste comes from you you are my movie taste there's a million things we agree on you're disregarding all of those and you're putting on fishing yeah (laughs) I don't want to do the equivalent of it's fishing to to of either person subject the other person to fishing. Yeah, Uh, not going to be watching any fishing, but that's still the idea of the podcast. It always has been to kind of see what's out there. There's stuff that we know we 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 both like that we would want to talk about. Um, But also, I haven't really I don't know anything about like Wusha. Helms or stuff like that. I've never seen Crouching Tiger Hidden. J- 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 yeah, j- j- I tried one of those. So, so yeah, like we'd still we still want to explore and see what's out there. Um, and there'd be some things that it's like, oh, we watched this and it was kind of a dud. That sucks, but oh well. <laughs> uh, at, at, at least now we know, right? Um, right. I I felt like I was complaining about your sword and sorcery goals earlier which i think is an admirable goal i think my my attitude towards the show is i will try anything once but when i have to to go back to it two or three times i I feel like i get anxious yeah like but i what about this this other thing everybody keeps talking about only murders in the building and i've never seen it yeah (laughs) Or uh, something else that I, I know we've t- uh, talked about is is like, hey, there's a show we want to cover, and in the past we've done the like end of the month specials, yes, uh, yes, which now we're not really doing just with the way things work. But for example, if there is a show that has like three seasons or something, we could be like, hey, for the next three episodes, this is what we're watching: season one, season two, and season three. Um, mm-hmm. So, so yeah, I, I think as, as we start to plan some of that stuff out, uh, we, we will like also kind of be able to give everyone a heads up of, of like, Hey, like at the end of this month, we're watching this thing or we're reading this thing. So if you want to start watching it or reading it now, go ahead, feel free. Right. Um, so yeah, but, uh, we have already decided the first thing that we will be covering on the review show. Um, which is all of the Ghostbusters movies. Um, yeah. Which includes the, the 2016 one. We are for the 2017. It's when 2016. Did that one? 16. Okay. Um, 
yeah, so we are watching all of those for the first one. We don't necessarily have everything else planned out uh, down the road yet. We're still think, working on you, on that. But I think we've got our next two episodes picked out after that. Did, I made a calendar. Did you look at the calendar? I did. Yes. Um, have I have not looked at it in a couple of days? Uh, but yes, you you so graciously provided a calendar where we could plan some of the stuff out uh we're still gonna have our nicholas cage match every year as close he's, as we can to fourth of, J- of july uh we're still gonna do horror month in october uh shame timber in september yeah. um st- 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 stuff like that but uh yeah we'll, we'll we'll have some 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 fun um but uh last little bit on how those two shows are changing um let me open up my calendar here so i know so in the new year when we come back january 7th is when we will record the first captain's log Mm -hmm. um and then that following week january 14th is when we will record the first review show and then it's the captain's log next week and the review show the week after that and so on and so forth. So, yeah, they're just alternating, alternating. Um, but, yeah, that I think gives you guys a proper heads up of kind of the main big change that's happening. Um, I've already briefly talked about our new hosting provider. Uh, that we have just a, a reminder. Yes, we are in a new hosting provider uh, for our podcasts. Um, and that will enable us to do some cooler stuff, some easier stuff. It was slightly more expensive for us, but allowed us to like have multiple sh- just on on the back end. It makes my life easier, it makes my life so much easier uh, to the, to get to move over to them. Um, the next big kind of change is that we are going to go back to using patreon a lot more than we do now yes we 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 have a patreon and we use it to an extent but we don't use our like patreon site to like make posts or do stuff like that uh what we've done in the past is that if you support us on patreon you can then go to our website the whatnots.com and use your Patreon credentials, your login info to log in to our members only section, uh, which then unlocks all of our our stuff. Um, so if you're at the one dollar tier, you guys would get all the episodes early. If you're at the three dollar tier, you'd get the Pilots Club. Uh, that stuff is all staying the same in terms of like what level, what tiers things are all at. But. We're going to start posting on Patreon uh, a little bit more. Uh, oh, I think we have Ignacio here. Let me see if I can switch Hi, things hey. over. Ignacio, how's it going, man? Doing good. Uh, a bit hard, but doing good. How are you? Doing pretty good. Uh, we we're just in the middle of explaining some of the changes and stuff that is... Uh, Coming up to the whatnots this next this next mm. year here, um, mm. yeah. Uh, so uh, th- yeah, using p- p- Patreon a little bit more. I know they have a private R- RSS feed um, that we will be using a little bit more. So if you're at that three dollar tier, uh, the that is how you can can get the the Pilots Club that way. Um, so yeah, that is exciting. I, I think all of our, our older Patreon stuff, I've cleaned it off, but in our, we'll be putting it back up uh, in, in the next week here uh, so that you guys, so it's just a little organized and condensed. Here's all of our older stuff versus here's our new stuff. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. Uh, and then last but not least is stuff for the Pilots Club. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm super excited about this. So yeah, this is our pa- our Patreon exclusive sh- show. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with with, with it, uh, it's basically what we do on the review show, but it is uh, like a much smaller, condensed version. We watch the first episode of a TV show, a, a pilot episode, 
uh, and discuss it. Um, discuss what worked, what didn't work, what we liked. Should it be a two-parter? Should this have been an hour long? Should this have been a feature length long pilot? Um, all of that stuff and getting stuff that uh, like pilots that never made it to air pilots that, uh, did, you know, the show only lasted a season or half a season, different genres of shows, uh, shows that are, are streaming, are anime, are old syndicated shows, current shows on TV right now, all sorts of stuff. Um, and it's been a blast. It's been a lot of fun. Um, but in February, we'll mark the two year anniversary of us doing that show. And we've decided that uh, we're going to start releasing that show to the public. Uh, so two years after we record an episode uh, and it's been available on Patreon for all of our Patreon supporters, uh, we will have a live public fee that you guys can uh, go subscribe to on on Spotify or stuff like that. And that way you guys can get a taste of the show. Uh, and if you'd like it and you want to support, you can always go over to our Patreon uh, and support us that way and catch up on two years worth of episodes um, for all of that stuff. So I think that's super exciting. Um, but yeah, that's basically all of the changes and stuff for next year to so be on the lookout for that that uh yeah good stuff good stuff good stuff ignacio hello you Hi. are back uh dude it, it feels like it's been months since i've seen <laughs> Yeah, seen you. How are you? How have things things been? Are you, you now have your your masters? Are, are, are you a master Almost. of electricity? Almost. Almost. Uh, yeah, I delivered my thesis. That's what I've been working on for the past month. Uh, it was a grueling month for sure, but uh, yeah, I I presented my thesis, and now I have to defend it towards the end of january and then i'll become a master okay there you go do you get to pick you your weapon is it all. blades uh the hand-to-hand -hand <laughs> combat uh no for the lead it has to be no weapons only my face <laughs> 10 paces and then draw <laughs> <laughs> yeah cool cool yeah uh and then i i guess today you would just uh went to go vote in your country um yep. Is is that one of the bigger elections? It is a smaller one. Is it a local one? It is. It is a big election. We're uh, deciding whether or not we are gonna change constitution. Ah, uh, oh, so, wow. Uh, okay. Yeah. Big. There you go. Good stuff. Yeah. Go vote. Yeah. Go vote. You still have uh forty minutes left. You there can you go vote. skate in the end right at the end. There, you're like, I'm I'm too busy being a master. I need to vote now. <laughs> 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 nah, I I prefer voting late. Uh. Because you can vote from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. So gotcha. technically, mm. you, you can get there at 6 and, and they'll still let you in. But I yeah, gotcha. I prefer going late. There's not that many people there, so you don't have to wait for, for too long. It, it is a, a good time to go vote. Cool. So what, what, what time is it for you right now? Right now, it is 522. 522. Okay. That's yep. what we, we were trying to figure what out time early zone on. We were in. <laughs> so I was like, e even when I was on the the East Coast, it was like sometimes we'd be aligned, sometimes we wouldn't. Yeah. Our daylight savings time didn't line up exactly, yep. so there'd just be all sorts of like, I I don't know what time it is for you over there. <laughs> <laughs> Your Central Time probably the worst time. Yeah. No, uh, no, maybe that's Mountain Time. I forget that there is a Mountain it's Time. It, it's very specific for a very small amount of people, mountain time, but maybe they take yeah. great pride in it. You go to Denver uh, and everyone's got like I, a mountain time t-shirt and hat. I, I, I feel like it's the most forgotten one. Yeah. Like the, pe pe people are like, what time is best, East Coast or West Coast? And then 
everyone is, is always just like no one likes central time uh, we can't and be having these debates t- 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 we're exists. already such a divided <laughs> people we cannot have time zone arguments which like, time is best all, this is like having a blood type argument what's better yeah. a or a b we have no room for this they're all necessary <laughs> <laughs> just sit down and be quiet not, not all and of them smile at your neighbor please <laughs> there are some that are universal donuts and there are some that are special so I don't know the, every, every it's, it's really funny because early on in the captain's log we had an episode uh, where I, you, we, I think we have one that, that, that's, that is entitled central time is the worst time or something like that and it was like if we ever had a whatnots like studio live in person it would never be in central t- 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 time and now both melissa and i are yeah. in central time <laughs> yeah well even with central time you still have uh when shows i know uh they say in commercials what time the show is it's always like eight seven central or nine eight central yeah seven yeah. central means me yeah <laughs> What else have you been up to, to Ignacio? How was how's things? Uh, how's life been outside of school? Uh, so school, uh, there isn't much life going on. The only relevant thing is that I am now looking for jobs. Mm. Since I'm already one month away, since I'm gonna become a master, uh, I've been looking for jobs. I've been uh, applying for jobs. Uh, it's a grueling process. You now, send are, a resume and then don't know if they will answer or not. I'm assuming you're looking for jobs in the U.S. Because I know at one yep. point you were saying like, yeah, Ooh. I'm going to move to the U.S. Yes. That's, that's cool. That's fun. <laughs> that makes it so much harder. Uh, you don't and, know the amount of, work, of best jobs of that luck. say. Yeah. No, you don't know the amount of jobs that say requires U.S. citizenship. This job oh. requires clearance. Mm. So you need citizenship. Sure. Yeah. That makes sense, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So yeah, well, there are a lot of jobs that I cannot apply to. But there all right, are... well, pop quiz, Ignacio. Who wrote oh our constitution? How many amendments do we have? What's the capital of Iowa? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't, know. I, I don't, I don't look, even know those things. <laughs> look, I, I have watched several videos of, hey, this is what the, the citizenship uh, test is about. And I, I would probably feel like I can get that. 90% of those. <laughs> I, I I feel like I would fail that. I I I just I yeah I I'd be like I don't know any of this shit. <laughs> uh, do you do you need to know any Oscar winners? I can provide you with this information. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff indeed, Melissa. You had a family holiday party yesterday, right? Yes. How did that go? It went well. We were only able to get in and start setting up at the time that we put as the start time on the invitations that I did not like that. I, I don't gotcha. like to still be setting things up when people arrive. And then I have my hand, I have my arms wide open with this like big paper banner I'm about to hang up. And that's when my aunt comes in and tries to hug me. <laughs> I'm like, you want to see the paper? <laughs> Give me one minute, please. <laughs> Let me put this down. Uh, uh, that's it good. was you, good. You, I played were, Scrabble. Uh, huh? Sorry, continue, please. I played Scrabble with my brother Jams and a younger cousin of ours. And I had the Z. Z's Ooh. 10 points in Scrabble. So I'm like, I, yeah. God gave me this for a reason. I got to use the Z. And I'm like, I have a great idea. The kids Skills will love this. With a Z. I can, yeah. I can spell the hot new Gen Z word Riz. So I put ah, Riz down and I look ah. at my like 20 something year old cousin and she's like, you can't play that. Riz is spelled with two Z's. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> is it two Z's? I've never I'm, I've only ever heard anybody say it ironically. I've never seen it written down. <laughs> so there went that plan. At, at least you tried. Right? Like that's, I tried. That, like, that's, that's, that's the thing I think you have to do with is with a Z, because w- what are the odds of you getting two Z's and being able to there, do like I think it's pizza a, or or something? I think it's like literally that. impossible. I think for those ten dollar, ten point 
tiles. There's like only one Z, only one X, maybe only one Q. Yeah. So unless I had a blank free space tile, I couldn't have done it. The race is impossible when you're playing Scrabble. <laughs> maybe there'll be new Gen Z Scrabble that has more Zs in it. Maybe just maybe. Gen Z. Maybe that's or be. yeah, or or just buy <laughs> mostly buy, Zs. Buy two Scrabbles and just mix the bed bags in. I right. like that idea. Yeah. Omni Scrabble. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my partner Rachel's in the chat saying, wasn't it word of the year? Uh, so Riz, Riz might have been word of the year that according to some like dictionary.com or yeah, Miriam Webster something. Um, interesting. Interesting. I, I, I used to play speed Scrabble with my cousins. Um, where we wouldn't use the board, but we put all the tiles face down in the center, and there's like a like a five minute limit or a ten minute, how, however much you want, but it's supposed to be like a small thing, so it's fast. And you start with I think ten tiles, um, and then you start a clock. And when the, when the clock starts, you can turn your tiles over and you start making like your own Scrabble board. Ah! And when you need to pick up a new tile, you pick from the center, but you just have to pick like a random one that's face down. Um, and then when the timer is up, you count like how many points you have and whoever has the most points wins. So that was our very, 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 very version of Speed Scrabble. <laughs> Back in the day. I've never played Scrabble. Really? I yeah. recommend it. Are you, are you a board game person yeah, at all? That's the thing. I like board games, but it's not like I can ever play board games. I play... I mean, I say that, but I often play board games with my friends. But the thing is that uh, we always play the same game, which is mm, okay. Risk. Risk, yeah. Or yep. like oh. a, a variation on Risk. I got so you. that's all they want to play. We... As a group bought Monopoly, we only play Monopoly one time. I love Monopoly. <laughs> they don't. Interesting. So, yeah, I, yeah, I hate Monopoly. I think it is what? boring as hell. Yeah. Oh, Mon man. I have a fondness for Monopoly because my friends and I used to play it when we'd just be hanging out watching a movie and we just needed an activity to do with our hands. So we'd play real low stakes games of Monopoly. Interesting. How you clearly to didn't. You clearly didn't grow up with Pokemon Monopoly like I did. I had Pokemon Monopoly. Look, oh, you look. did? I didn't own it, yes. but no, I've I've seen all of the. Did they make so I've many got, different? Oh, I've yeah. got the little Clefairy piece right wow. here. She sits on my desk. Uh, Clefairy, Clefairy. Yeah, I don't know what what happened to my Pokemon Monopoly. Interesting. It just disappeared one day. Um, Melissa, did you ever have a risk phase? When I was in elementary school, I was in the gifted program and we had a oh. class where we, <laughs> we would go to the special center at the high school, the local high school. We'd all be bussed in for like one day out of the week. And we take these special like one semester fun classes that like weren't worth any grades. I think sure. you would have vague sense of an assessment, but all these teachers could pick like one specific thing they were into, like one teacher's. I love Alaska. I'm going to teach the kids about Alaskan culture for a whole semester. We're going to watch another teacher's like season four. <laughs> another teacher's Set like how about pirates. Pirates are cool. And another teacher's like uh, crossword puzzles. Whole semester were the crossword puzzles for the kids. And I had a World War II class that did involve a lot of games of risk. Interesting. Interesting. Um, yeah, I, I feel like, you know how this year there was that TikTok trend of like, D does your boyfriend think of the Roman Empire? How often do you think of the Roman Empire? I, I feel like there could be an equivalent, like how how many p people had a risk <laughs> phase where that like you were hyper into risk and you thought of like the best strategies, like do I need to hold Australia or not? Like do it, yeah. do do I, right? I, I I feel like that's a similar 
question too. Like, can I... you think about the uh, the, the <laughs> Roman em- 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 Empire? So well, right. right yeah. Yeah, I feel like everyone is at the settlers of Catan phase, or at least mm. they were up until recently. Catan's good. Catan's always reliable. I had a friend have an all-day civilization game. And a friend was going to go and play, but he had to work like a morning shift. So I went in and like started his game for him. I was like, I'm hey, I'm proxy Ian for two hours until Ian gets <laughs> off work. And then did, he did will you be playing walk the rest in of with the game the, with the glasses, the fake <laughs> nose and the mustache. It's me. I put it's on me. the Ian I'm Ian. uniform, which is an Iron Maiden shirt. <laughs> is that it? I'm him now. <laughs> Ian comes back, you have nuclear weapons. You already have <laughs> Ian, I've already won. You don't need to be here. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's fun. Yeah, I'm I'm not too much of a board game person. We did recently uh this past year buy Uno Flip, which is a card game. It's exactly like Uno. Except there's a card that is a flip card. When someone plays that, you literally flip the cards that are in your hand around. Because on the backs of them, there are different colors with different instructions and all of that. You know how, like, sometimes people like to organize their cards by, like, here's all my reds, here's all my greens, like, all that stuff. This kind of does away with that of like what's the point of organizing them because once you flip them they're all out of color order for the other side and and so you have to like reorganize and so it's just like yeah you it's 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 an interesting twist on it to be like there's multiple instructions and sides and things that you can Mm. you can do and that one has been fun you've enjoyed that that one but I'm, I'm not much of a board game person i i used to be when my brother worked at a comic book shop and would bring home a lot of board games i was yeah but i gotcha oh it's such a time investment because all yeah. it, nobody risk. wants to play the board <laughs> nobody wants to play the board games they already know anymore we all know how to play monopoly but as you've said kyle you nobody's interested you don't want to yeah and all the yeah. hot new games are like, let's spend 25 minutes going over the very detailed rule. And that extends the whole thing. And I'm like, I don't want to be here for four hours. All I want to play is Quiplash. At the end of Jack the day, Box that's all I pack. need. Number, yes. whatever number. <laughs> Trivia murder party, please. Yeah. Pick a chalice to drink from. <laughs> I don't know. I, I do like board games. I like the. It's going to sound so Gen Z, but the analog feeling, the video. Sure, yeah. Sure, yeah. I love it. I love the paper. I also, I love strategy things. So that's why I love. Uh, yeah. Even though I never win, I love uh, Risk. So I, I wish I could play more board games, but unfortunately, my friends, again, only ever want to play Risk if, <laughs> if we ever play any board game. Do they at least spice it up with like it's Lord of the Rings risk or Game of Thrones? No. Oh risk. my god, oh, it's, Look, it, it's memory it, unlocked. It, it, <laughs> oh wow, you playing Lord of the Rings risk in a Buffalo yes. Wild Wings? Funny. Yes, yes, I was Lord just about to ask. I, I had completely forgotten about that story. How, I, so, I uh, obviously I've told you that story, Melissa. Yes, uh, <laughs> wait, are you kidding me? There's the, actually a the Lord of the Rings risk. In the Captain's yes, yeah, Log episode like entitled Buffalo Wild Ring. Ah, okay. There you go. Yeah, I my a uh, good friend of mine growing up had the uh like Lord of the Rings risk. And I think he I I don't know if it was all of them or if he had a special one, but they had like silver pieces and stuff like that yes. instead instead of your 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 typical like gray pewter pieces um and yeah we were at a buffalo wild wings uh for some like church event uh 
thing and we had already eaten we, we had been there for an hour or two <laughs> or two we were, we were deep into this game of risk and we were to the point where like the plates are stacked on the table our drink cups are empty and there's that one cup where that one person <laughs> is like putting extra things in like he's putting like ketchup in his dr pepper oh, with kid. salt and his napkin is to- in there and like i <laughs> I have to find the oldest person who is still doing that. Is there a 26 year old life goal? Who's still Melissa. up to it? Yeah. Who, um, is, who keeps that up? Who, who does? <laughs> who retires still being ketchup and salt boy? Right. And, and, and so, yeah, the, the cup is sitting there. And so we're like, we're young teenagers, right? And so we're sitting there like, hey, I'll give you 10 bucks if you drink that, right? And we're like, no, oh, you do bucks. it. I'll give you 10 bucks, right? Uh, and so we're, we're just kind of passing this around, this this cup full of j- just nastiness. Uh, and somehow it gets knocked over onto the wrist oh, no. board. No. Yeah, and just spills all over it. And this thing, it's not just the, like, silver pieces. It's like this board is ornate. Like, it looks incredible. Oh, oh no, um, my elves. My elves are drowning. And he, the, the the dude who owned it stood up and was like, my risk! And like flipped it. <laughs> and, and everything went all over the guy that was sitting opposite him. <laughs> <laughs> he just got covered in like ketchup Dr. Pepper water with a napkin in it. And it was just like, oh, this is disgusting. <laughs> But yeah, I'd completely forgotten about that story. And then you said Lord of the Rings or Risk. And I was like, oh, I remember now. <laughs> uh, Kyle, I sent a video of the review show uh, chat. Oh, Metal Gear? The board game. Metal the, Gear Solid, the, the board game. I don't know if you have the technology to pull it up. Let me see if I can here. Give me just a sec. Oop, doop, can we do that? Can we do... Oh, why is it over there on that guy? We don't want that. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, we don't even play Risk. We play the off-brand version. It's called Attack. It's pretty Attack. much just Attack. Risk <laughs> with a different name. <laughs> Lower quality. Let's see here. How can I do this? That is desktop. Which screen am I on? I don't want that one. Well, we are we live? Okay. We are live. Yes. Yeah, we are on YouTube streaming live. On um, YouTube. Yeah, we, we, we stopped using our Twitch uh, a while yeah, ago. have changed. Yeah. Um, okay, let's see. Make sure I, I got that right here. Exit out of studio mode. Let's see if I can bring this up on screen. There we go. Metal Gear Solid... The board game. Do you want me to start this from w- the where uh, you uh, where I put sent it. The, the, the link? All right, cool. Yeah. Let me see. Put this on full screen there. Experience the tactical espionage action. Infiltrate Shadow Moses Island. Stealth through stages to advance the mission. Oh, I googled Snake. weird board God. games. <laughs> I googled weird board games and this article, one of their first images is Kerplunk. Like, you gotta be getting weirder on here than Kerplunk. What's a Kerplunk? Um, you've got a tube, and the tube's got a bunch of little skewers stuck through it, and a bunch of marbles are on top, and you have to move the skewers around, almost like a Jenga, with still allowing enough of a support structure that none of the marbles... Kerplunk through. Perhaps. Oh, for, for you, it's marbles. For us, it's always been monkeys. It is a tree with monkeys on the on the skewers. And we have, have that. Yeah. Is it not the same? It seems like it's the same. Ours just doesn't have a specific theme to it. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen one with May- marbles. I'd love a day of just the nostalgic 90s board games. Like, let's really do a mouse trap and a 1313 dead end drive 
a guess who, a classic guess who would be so good for the soul. Like Anyways, how, I've just think? been letting this this thing play. <laughs> what do you think about it? It's it, that's interesting. Pre-order yeah. now. Uh, I it's I it's know, I it weird to see them like show bits of the actual game, and it's like here's him like sneaking under a camera, and then like what the equivalent is in the board game, where like a camera is set in a direction so like these three tiles are covered by the camera but the camera will switch every so often interesting so melissa for context uh this is based on the video game franchise metal gear solid or metal i gear franchise. i know him he's a snake he's snake? solid hideo snake? kojima is snake! his dad yeah but the thing is this is a stealth game you have to stealth around and then you, <laughs> you have boss fights that you have to play, uh, that you have to fight. And they made it a board game. That's interesting. They made stealth board I games. enjoy that. Great job, guys. We've done it. Society has reached its peak. Stealth board games are here. Move over, shoot tell some me, ladders. Tell me it wouldn't be great fighting that middle here at the end. <laughs> Be interesting to, to to play. I've always wanted us to do like a like a one shot campaign of some tabletop role playing RPG thing that we can play online. But I don't know how to DM. I don't know any DMs, and and I I know that's it's also like a lot of work to prepare all of that stuff. Yeah. I think it'd be so much fun for us to like uh, yeah our like end of the year retrospective is us just playing some campaign for three hours right <laughs> and like that's it there you go it's fun you think it's fun too there you go good episode <laughs> <laughs> i every year at my office's holiday party we do a gift war we're like you bring in a ten dollar gift you unwrap it next person can either get their own new gift under from under the tree or steal your gift. And there's infinite theft. And I've found that the most popular items that'll get stolen over and over again are booze and Dungeons and Dragons stuff. Just big boxes of dice will go back and forth like 20 times. Everybody wants the dice. Like, why do we not have an office game club? It's so popular, clearly. So I might be able to, uh, if you want somebody to DM for us, one of my teammates might be able to do it. Interesting. That'd be fun. That would be fun. Um, speaking of games and stuff, of course, Ignacio, you and I are both into video games and, and, and what? You stuff are? like that. <laughs> yes, I am. Girl, you, and you tell me right now that you are into videos. Uh, yeah. I've, I've played Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3 and 4 and 5. Oh, but not 1. Uh -huh. Nope. Haven't played the first one. Um, but, but yeah, so uh, Game of the Year stuff. What was, yep. did you, do you, you have all your, your Game of the Year stuff? What was your Game of the Year? Top 3, top 5, top 10. ten. I don't know. Man, what came out this year? Absolutely oh, nothing. Right. Uh... Okay, Indian let's see about top three. Let's see about top three. Top three? It's okay. easier. Because I don't know which which one I would put at number one. It was, uh, it was so, hard. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of good so stuff. I, I haven't played year. Baldur's Gate. Of Same. Course, that's I haven't played that one. to be everyone's favorite game. Uh, so out of the games that I played, it would definitely be Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Spider-Man. And then for my third one i want to say god of war but i'm trying to remember if that was last year well un unless you're going by oh. I, I think by uh was it valhalla this year valhalla was last year it was last I year yeah well no uh, ragnarok was last year they just released no, their D -D 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 dlc yeah this this year uh, um and what other game could it be because there, there is Final Fantasy 16. Mm -hmm. 
Now there must be another. Did game you do that like I, Alan Wake two, two or anything no. like that? No. Okay. I have. I might play Alan Wake two, but I haven't played any Alan Alan Wake games. Neither have I. Yeah. That's it. Um, like that's the. I'm, I'm also. I don't like horror, and so <laughs> I haven't right. played Alan Wake one. But Alan Wake two looks so good. But I know yeah. if I play it, I'm gonna be so freaking scared. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's weird. So many games came out this year, and I can't. Yeah. So my Jedi Jedi came out this year. It did. Yes. But I wouldn't put it top three. Hi-Fi like Rush was this year. Starfield. Starfield. Um, I would have put it in either of those. Well, Hi-Fi Rush. I didn't play Starfield. I dropped. didn't play Hi-Fi Rush. Yeah. Wow. So good. Uh, you don't have an Xbox though, right? You, you, no, you I can have... play it on my PC. That's right. Okay. Uh, so where was my, it going? Jedi, my top three, I wouldn't put it. I, I have Jedi as my third one. Really? Uh, yeah, but that's also because I, I didn't play Baldur's Gate. I didn't play at Alan Wake. Like there's uh, other stuff that I'm I like I'm sure are better games out there, but I I yeah, I really liked that that one. It just in in terms of gameplay and me having a fun time. It was fun. I liked it. Star Wars, Jedi Survivor, it, it was my third. Fun. It was fun. It was good. Some of the but story stuff gets a little lost on me. Um, but yeah. Uh, my number two was Spider-Man 2. And uh, Tears of the Kingdom was my number one. Um, but Hi- Hi-Fi Rush was my number four. Starfield was number five, though honestly that seems a little bit high. Um, I have c- c- Cocoon yeah, as my... My six, that one is awesome. Um, sea of Stars, I never finished it, but that was my seven uh, game. Did did you play? Did you play Viewfinder? No, it is that one is my eight. I I know I would enjoy it, but I I have so many games to play. I still have, so I wanna. Right now, I'm starting the. 16 DLC. Okay. Then after that, I want to play like a Dragon Gaiden. Of course, then after yeah. that, there's Baldur's Gate 3 that I want to try. There's uh, Cyberpunk, which I never finished. And then there's a DLC. Yeah. At some point, I want to replay uh, Final Fantasy 7 Remake because the part two is about to come out. Yep. Uh, what yeah, game? I had oh Sea Mortal Fighter. Kombat, Mortal oh, Kombat yeah, one. Out. I want to play two. Lords of the Fallen. I want to try uh, the other game that I want to try. And there are other games. So Viewfinder. I don't know when I would play it. It's also pretty short. It's like five or six hours mm. long. But it's it's also uh, it, Armored it's, Core. I want to try. I I man, I tried it. I got my ass kicked in that game i'm so bad at it uh that game was so hard uh but yeah i had viewfinder as my eighth chia as number nine and i had final fantasy 16 as my 10 10. i was Mm. not into that one like everyone else was but those are my games was into it Mm, sometimes i was into it sometimes i wasn't into it i think that it was a little bit too long and that might have diminished my enjoyment of the game. Yeah. But at the end, I I remember really liking the, the end of the game. Yeah. Indeed. And then the other game that... Uh, well, that's Howard, Howard's Legacy came out this year. I keep forgetting it. It was a good game. Uh, yeah. Uh, like a Dragon Ishin came out this year. Uh, Lies of P. I started it. I enjoyed it. I never finished it. Resident Evil 4 Remake. I thought it was okay. Uh, Super Mario Bros. Wonder. I don't know if you Did played it. Did not play that one. No. Uh-uh. It's fun. But it's Mario fun. I yeah. don't think that it's anything great. And then the last game that I want to shout out is Naruto Cross Boruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Connections. Which... The the campaign that retells the story. I just looked story at Melissa's of... face with that one, and she's just sitting there. I'm. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I haven't been listening. Okay, I've Mario, been reading Mario, the Mario, I get it. Resident Evil, I've heard of it. <laughs> Not to cross vote it. What? I've been reading the Cheesecake Factory menu. <laughs> I was reacting to that. <laughs> well, it worked for Naruto Cross Baruto <laughs> Ultimate Ninja Gaiden times three, whatever Ultimate the fuck Ninja it is. Ultimate Ninja Connections. That's what I said. Get it, right? <laughs> I was looking at all the different egg rolls in the egg roll camp. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Melissa, confused by egg rolls. <laughs> They've got four different kinds. I think one of them's really a taquito. They've got the Tex Mex we egg had, roll. I, I I don't know if they've survived, but we had a like a egg roll restaurant here where we're at where Ooh. like the whole thing is they make you like big giant egg rolls. But there's, yeah, they're all different ca- like kinds though yeah yeah it, it ends up kind roll? of being more like a burrito but it is still just like a giant egg also oh, you say egg roll does that uh is that the the the, the outer layer is made of egg or is there egg inside it's it, i mean I, to be honest i i don't even know exactly it's the it's what you get with like I, chinese I know. food right no i know yeah. i can picture it but here I don't, don't call them egg rolls. They're just rolls. One of I them is. I don't think there's spring rolls sometimes. Egg inside. Yeah, there is think spring the roll. Shell is so made there's out the of two, egg. There's the two coverings. Spring rolls have got that real brittle, like shattery outer coating. Yeah. And then egg rolls is more like bubbly. It gets crunchy, but it doesn't get as like brittle. That might have egg in it. Okay, so it, definitely it, two different consistencies and two different materials to so it make is like the a roll. like a corn tortilla versus a flour tortilla situation. May, that might be it. Yeah, and what maybe one of them's got egg and the other doesn't. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed. Good did stuff, I ever though. tell you guys that I traveled to the U.S. this year? I think you did. <laughs> I think Where'd earlier. You go? Oh. <laughs> Maybe I told you. Uh, when was it? September, uh, end of August, or beginning? Of, no, I think end, end of August. I went to a uh, optics mm-hmm. conference in San Diego, but before that, I went to Disneyland. <gasps> what was your favorite thing at Disneyland? Uh, good question. Good question. Uh. Did you only do Disneyland or did you also do no, Disney's California Adventure? I, I good, was there good. for four days. I did almost everything at both. Unfortunately, nice. the last day that I was there it was the day where there was a tropical storm. Oh, wow. So I went there, but there was it, it was raining. Also, I, that was the day that I went to California Adventure for the second time. I didn't have much that I had left. That I that I didn't do before, so that was mostly like a lost day. Uh, but what did I enjoy the most? Uh, maybe maybe a Smuggler's Run. No, oh, cool. not, no, 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 Smuggler's Run. Uh, oh, the Rise of the Resistance. Rise of the Resistance. Yeah, that's the uh, big ticket item. Yeah, that was fun. But speaking of Smuggler's Run, I did that one like four times five times because i was going alone so i oh. could just go in as a single Pop rider in, and yeah. they just put me so oh, nice for that run in particular i could just go in i finish the thing go back in and they just let me in through almost immediately uh but nice. unfortunately it also meant that i could never pilot the ship oh i was all, always the like the technician and then one time i was uh, i was a uh, Managing the guns. Okay. <sighs> so yeah. Uh, what else? I also went to Universal, which I had gone to Universal before, two times I believe. Uh, but I went to the Super Mario World. So, yeah. Oh, cool! That's fun. Yeah, yeah. it's it cool. very fun. I got to do the Mario Kart ride twice, I believe. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I think I did it twice. That's awesome. One was again single rider. Cool, cool, cool. It's a lot of fun. Universal uh isn't that good. It isn't that I, interesting. I came in early in the morning just to get the early access to Nintendo World. I left at 
so I came in like at like eight. I might have, must have left like by five in the afternoon. Okay. I do know that Universal Studios Hollywood is pretty limited because it's in yeah. such a small footprint. It and is. if they so they can't add to it very easily. Uh, I think Universal Studios Orlando does have a lot more to offer. If yeah. like the studio tour and the actual movie making things aren't what you're interested in. And, and I did everything there and I still felt like it was uh, very limited. <laughs> and again, I had already done most of the rights I had already done before one time that I went previously. I again did the studio tour. I again did every ride. But uh, definitely Disneyland is way better. And Disney World is definitely better than Disneyland. There you go. There it's you go. got an Epcot. Disneyland can't say that. I love an Epcot. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, hey, cheers to the Whatnots eighth anniversary. Yeah. Uh all hey, of that stuff. I don't, I don't know if you guys have clink, stuff. Clink, but yeah, clink. cheers, everyone. Clink clink. Clink clink. And yes, my shot glass has titties. Oh yeah. I remember her. <laughs> Uh, Kyle's is Kyle is out of Twitch, and of course he has to abuse the, the, the abuse the <laughs> chip, you know, terms TOS. of service. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't really see them; they're clear. It's all glass. Yeah, you can't really see. They they are technically a wearing a bikini. Class. Yeah, they they are technically wearing a bikini. However, it okay, must so be it, cold it wherever. Cool. They are because uh, you can. Uh, there are nipples on this guy here. So uh, there you go. <laughs> Pretty cool. Good stuff. Uh, how about we take a quick, like two or three minute break? Uh, to go to the bathroom, get a drink, uh, do whatever you need to do, and then we can kind of come back for the last little bits of our yeah. show here. Yeah, I've got a hard out at like in like forty five minutes. Yeah. Cool. So let, we, we will be right back. Party people, we are back for the last third of the show. I have a bit of a new segment that I want to introduce oh. here on the show. This will, going forward, be a new segment that I do periodically on the Captain's Log. Um, All right. Not, not necessarily every week. Maybe three, four times a year to, to, total, uh, but just a fun little segment that we can do. Uh, it, it, it just uh, every so often. So this new segment is called "What the Hell Are We Talking About?" <laughs> this is an works. out of context game, basically. Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, here's how, here's how it works. I will take old episodes of the Captain's Logs, and I am only looking at the titles or the descriptions uh, uh -huh. to, to, to see what uh, to, to, some, something that we potentially talked about in that show. Uh, and I'm, I'm just going to ask, <laughs> what the hell are we talking about? Because uh, out of context, some of these, I, I, I don't know what they are. I don't remember a thing. Um, so I'm willing to bet that, Melissa, you don't remember these e e either. Ignacio, you're welcome to jo join in because what I'm asking you to do, based on the episode title, or the description, the, the 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 part of the description that I read. I want you guys to tell me what you think we're talking about, and that can be you making up shit, or if you actually remember and it's like, oh yes, that thing, then you can try and and say what the actual thing is. Here's the thing. I'm not going to tell you what we were actually talking I, about. I don't think I that's don't fair to have a game with no <laughs> answer key. <laughs> There's no wrong answer. Everything's made up and the points don't matter. Um, so here's uh, I, I have three examples here. Uh, first, the, the first ex example is episode 13 entitled Toot Boy. What the hell were we talking? Wh what is Toot Boy? Do, 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 can, uh, I have two possible answers. One, Kyle 
might have told the story of him being a, uh, as a kid farting all, all over the place. Okay. That how, okay. That's how okay. he became the, the tooth boy. Or <laughs> the other one is that we, you guys talked about, uh, I don't know if you remember that Simpsons episode where there's uh, a toy that's a tooth boy where, where <laughs> it, it, it moves forward, <laughs> forward by, by tooting. Okay. So maybe, maybe. talk about a toy like that. Me maybe or the it's Simpsons. a trumpet player. Okay, sure. Could be a trumpet player. Inter inter interesting. Yeah, I, I don't remember what, what this is or what this was referring to. to, to, to. So I love it. Uh, example two from episode 30 of the captain's log entitled Too Late for Artemis Fowl. Our description reads how in the world does a cow or a steer become more successful than us life isn't fair end quote is what that the big about? cow that big cow that cow that was really big i'm gonna google big cow <laughs> <laughs> yes knickers the giant cow from australia i think you brought this like have you seen this thing on twitter it's one cow that's Maybe. very, very large. And you sent me the picture. And I'm like, Dustin was showing us this at the office. I thought this was a literal scientific photo submitted to one of his journals. I didn't know this was a meme. I thought this was a Dustin original. What What did you type in for your Google search? Uh, big, I typed in big, big cow. cow and I, f I found Nickers, the big cow from Australia. How like is that twice spelled? the size of other cows. N I C K E R S. B I G oh. space C O W. Uh, no, his the the cow's name. <laughs> Knickers, like the little pants, with a K okay. for little pants. Images. I'm just tr trying to pull this up. Oh wow! Holy moly! Uh, let me bring this up on screen. This is Knickers. Um, Nickers is six foot four inches and twenty eight hundred pounds, being called Australia's largest cow. That is six a foot big four boy. inches. So this is a cow that's almost as tall as Lee Pace. Good lord! Lee Pace is six foot five. Interesting. Interesting. I w I wonder if if is is he still alive? Let's see all. Uh, I don't know how long a cow lives. That was 2018. Like big cow. Is there anything? Big animals. Oh, so I I do see something from 2021, and and it is still like world's biggest cow. Um, can we can we filter by date? Oh, Related so searches. Anytime. Gigantic biggest yeah. cow in the world. <laughs> Past year. <laughs> Wyoming. Oh, let's see what uh, the Cowboy State Daily dot com says. Um, oh, definitely. Wyoming ranchers say Nickers, the humongous Holstein, has nothing on Cowboy State cattle. Um, I'm trying to see if they have like a comparison. What? Here's here's a picture of what if the the is is the AT ATs. The four-legged things from Star Wars, yes. but they're cows in, in, instead here. It's just the Battle of Hoth, but it's they've photoshopped cows on top of them. That's ridiculous. Um I I don't I don't think Wyoming was actually putting up a contender here. No, just a joke, Wyoming. Tell them next yeah. time you're there. I I think he's still the reigning champ. I, I think, googled I think biggest animals and it's just like whales in general and not specific yeah. animals that have names, which is what huh. I wanted. Well, mystery solved. We now know what uh, what the the, <laughs> the big successful cow is. Can that cow be more successful than than us? Yes, it can. <laughs> Unfortunately. He's got the beef, Rachel says in the in the chat. <laughs> He's got the beef. He's, He's got, got the, the beef. beef. He's got the beef. He's got
And for our last example of what the hell are we talking about uh, for today from episode 41 of the captain's log entitled Pokemon and the Mr. Pib of boy bands. Who or what is the Mr. Pib of boy bands? Probably O Town. Maybe O-Town? 98 degrees. Yeah, I, my mind went straight to 98 degrees. Nasio, do you, do, you, do, you, like, do you know any? I don't know, Mr. Pib. That sounds like a Millie's uh, reference. <laughs> it's a soda. It's, it's like, a, like a cola slash Dr. Pepper style soda that was bigger oh, in the 90s it's not you a might cola. not have it there it's no, not yeah, a yeah, cola yeah, mr pib is mr pib is firmly in the spicy cherry soda realm of a dr pepper Interesting. Pib. Okay. it was called mr pib and then they called it pib extra which yeah. takes away all the respect i think wait is is that the same did they just change the name or is it, that like uh like a more caffeinated version i don't know I've I never thought heard it was of like a, a specific new difference. Version. I thought it was just a rebranding. I don't know if it's different. Let me Google that. Pib versus Pib Extra. Oh, it added extra cinnamon flavor. Uh, so it was, a, it was a little bit spicier. Yeah. Is what they were going for there. Uh, extra bold, extra good, spicy cherry taste from pibextra.com. I oh, there's a, a Pib Extra page on our cousin, the Coca Cola Wiki. <laughs> Pib Extra, formerly known as Peppo and Mr. Pib. Peppo. Peppo. Oh, I'd love to drink me a Peppo. Uh, uh, this from... is a spicy cherry pepper style flavored soda. For from four, four months ago in r slash soda over on Reddit, full power Kamehameha says, says Pib Extra is better than Dr. Pepper, period. There is no comparison, Ooh. period. Starting drama in That's r pretty soda aggressive. over here, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, it's a, I do prefer it. It's so rare. Oh, man, I'd love to have a Pib, a Pib for Christmas. <laughs> All I want for Christmas is Mr. Pib. My Mr. Pib. <laughs> My Mr. Pib. Interesting. Pib baby, put a 12 pack under my tree of Pib. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Uh, let, let, let me see. Let me t- t- type in off brand boy band and see what comes up <laughs> it's just gonna be fictional ones like uh several times and four so, town whatever's so, the one from turning red <laughs> so it the google results came back with I- I- images at the top and the first picture is of new menudo from billboard.com <laughs> new menudo just yeah. like a soda this is from from earlier this year, uh, from March, uh, twenty twenty three. It says new Menudo boy band members unveiled. The group also released their new single, Mi Amore. No, Defender, go away. I don't. I don't want this thing. Uh, nearly a year after Menudo Productions announced they were on the search for new members to form the next generation of Menudo. The band has officially unveiled five boys that will com- comprise the group. Uh, I, I don't know anything about these guys here. Let me bring this up so you all can, can see who New Menudo is. These guys look super young. This looks like a Disney Channel original movie is what this looks like. <laughs> Anyways, there you go. That is the, 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 the Mr. Pib of boy bands so yeah that's that's uh that's exactly what what the hell are we talking about is supposed to be us just trying to figure it out or we make something up 
make up a, a, a story or it draw it jogs our memory um just something fun spend five ten minutes on so there we go there we go uh i have a question for everyone uh-huh. here what are your most anticipated movies and or shows coming out Ooh. in 2024 all right. I, I, Let's I, I, look I would at... like to kick this to Ignacio because I I, I yes. talk with Melissa all the time about uh, what 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 movies and shows we're looking forward to. I don't get to talk ta- talk about that stuff as much with Ignacio. Is there anything that you know of on the calendar that you are looking forward to in 2024, movies or TV shows? That I know of. That's a thing i do not know much about what's coming out next year is deadpool 3 coming out next year or did they move that to the yes yes that is coming out july 26th 2024 yes correct oh yeah so uh, yeah I, i guess deadpool i don't know what other marvel movies are slated to come out next year that's an interesting one because that, next year there are really no MCU films besides arguably yeah. Deadpool. Um, but it's there are several Sony Sonys that has yep. yeah yeah they, it's going to be a big Sony Marvel um, year because we got well we got Madam Web we got uh, is Craven Ven- T Venom, Hunter yeah C- Craven and potentially Venom three at the end of next oh year. man top three movies next year right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's that's going to be interesting. TV shows. Uh, I don't know what TV show is coming out next year that I'm looking forward yeah. to. Is there, I don't are know there any, any oh, show? Go ahead. I don't know if there's any show that I'm looking forward to. Because are there the only that shows you're that currently I'm, watching that is like it's season three now, but season four will be out soon. Nothing that has an official release because the only show that i can think of is boruto okay which finished this year naruto the new cross boruto ninja storm champion three no it's called boruto two blue vortex nailed it. Uh, the anime ended this year the new manga came out a couple of months ago Nasu had someone who just stepped in his room for a <laughs> second there. Had to handle some business. Yeah, they were talking to me. Uh, but yeah, that's the only show that I can think of. I, I'm guessing this. Sh- I don't know if it's coming out next year or, or 2025. Okay. I gotcha. Still, it's on the horizon. I will accept that. It is on the that. horizon. And then Dragon Ball has to come back at some point. Will it be next year? Will it be... In five years, ten years, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Indeed. Okay. Okay. Good stuff. Melissa, what about you? What's on your Uh, most anticipated list for next year? Every time I see that one trailer for Argyle, I'm still trying to figure out who the real (laughs) agent Argyle is. My latest theory is that it's Catherine O'Hara. Your mom was the spy all along. Uh, Yeah. You thought she was just a regular mom, but no, she's spy mom. We'll see. Uh, that trailer for Challengers did look real hot. Challengers, the sexy tennis movie. That one. Look it up. Uh, and of course, my boy M. Night Shyamalan is a new movie coming out next year, and his daughter is going to be making her feature directorial debut. Yeah, that's an interesting one for sure. Um, I, I know, uh, for me, uh, as, in terms of movies. Like Dune Part Two is something I'm interested yeah. in. Two um, Dunes, right? Uh, Drive Away Dolls, uh, which is the Cohen sibling the one. one. I, I, I don't remember. Single Cohen. I, I watched something else recently that was also a Cohen brother. It was one of them, but not both of them. And I don't remember what it was now. Off the top, was it of my the tragedy head. of Macbeth? Yes, it was. Thank you. <laughs> How could you I've forget? Ha- 
I've I've had that on my my list on Apple TV. I don't think I mentioned it uh, last on the last uh, Captain's Log that we did, but that was also one of the things that I watched on my like big Apple TV binge. It was just one that I had sitting in there, like I know I kind of want to watch this because the black and white looks fantastic. Um, it does look yeah, so cool. The black and white in that is incredible. I love that. Um, the the sets sets were go 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 gorgeous in that but um i'm interested in this ballerina movie this john yeah. wick spinoff it's gonna be interesting um what else am i looking forward to um i don't know i think that's kind of it for movies that i'm like super yeah. stoked about um like we'll become almost- stoked there are there are, there are like smaller stuff that I'm looking yeah. forward to it, but it's it's you know. But for the most part, I think that at least for me, most of the movies that I watch, I learn about them closer to release rather than sure so far away from it. That's fair. That's fair. Um, in terms of television shows, I'm looking forward to the new season of The Boys. Um, uh-huh. That's going to be incredible. Um, I know the bear got renewed for season three. I don't know when they're going to start f- filming that or if that's going to be out next year at all. I kind of don't think it will be. I kind of don't think like yellow jacket season three will be yeah. out next year. I think it's going to be early 2025, to be honest. Um, I know in, in our retrospective last year, you asked the same question and we're like, when do we get another season of severance? So I don't yes, know. Maybe that's this year. I want more severance. I just finished watching season one of Silo, and that is incredible. That show was awesome. Um, yeah, that has like if if you liked The Expanse over on Amazon, it has like that part of this uh, sci-fi stuff. If if you especially if you liked the Belt of Lotus, um, all of them and their their uh, whole whole thing, but then it also has this like like the sci-fi mystery that severance has of like okay. what, what is really going on he, he here silo <sighs> is incredible highly recommend it uh so hopefully we get a C- season two of that very soon what um, if there was a silo oh there is <laughs> don't don't you worry your precious I, little head it's, melissa it's <laughs> something <laughs> That's a joke they do on blank check all the time is that they'll say the name of state the premise like tenet. Yeah. What if there was a tenet? <laughs> <laughs> it never gets old for me. Yeah. Um what else? What else? What else is there? I'm tr- 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 trying to think if there's anything else that's on my like most We might finally get those those MCU shows that Seem like they're far enough in production. We should be seeing them oh. soon, like Agatha or Iron Daredevil. Heart. When yeah, is that yeah. finally coming out? That, well, I know that we're gonna retool that. Yeah, I know they're re- yeah, Daredevil's like Daredevil's re- getting a real retooling. Yeah. But uh, hope hopefully by the end of next year they Penguin. have that going. We might have Penguin um, by the end of the year. We might, yeah. The the like uh, Matt Reeves Batman tie in be interesting um i'm gonna google biggest penguin <laughs> go for it melissa ain't no one stopping you <laughs> it says colin farrell weird <laughs> um yeah I, I think that's kind of it for my like most anticipated excuse me stuff for next year um so <laughs> Melissa the laughing remains at biggest of an penguins. ancient monster penguin have been discovered, and it would have been human sized and weighed up to 176 pounds. Wow. It, it would have been uh, five feet three inches. Now I need a movie of like some guy being like, why don't you pick on someone your own size? Right. And then like he gets a tap on the what? shoulder, and it's this p- penguin beh- behind him being like, fight me, bitch. I'm seeing- <laughs> I'm seeing another infographic that's like, no, the penguin was two meters tall. It would have been taller than Michael Jordan. 
So I don't know <laughs> how tall this ancient mystery penguin was. Air penguin. <laughs> <laughs> um interesting uh but that that uh, i i've actually seen penguins in real life i've i've been to uh australia and we went to, the, to this thing where we got to see penguins like coming up on land and going into their cool. little habitat thing that that was fun uh i was about to say that leads me into my next question but that would be entirely wrong <laughs> Penguins for being don't honest. lead me into yeah there, there's no segue here um, <laughs> do you guys if any do, do, do you have goals <laughs> for next year for like the the uh, whatnots and, and stuff i i, I kind of ask this every, every every year i i don't know if you do or if you guys think about this as much as i do or like what you want to bring to the table Ignacio, I know with you, uh, like handling your masters and 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 stuff like like that, and about to be d- done with that at the end of January. You may have some extra time on your hands. I know we've uh, it's still kind of up in the air exactly how involved you'll be next year. Um, but at, at, as you know, the invitation is always yeah. here. We'd yeah, love to have you on more of the review show on the captain's log, all that stuff. You guys have goals for next year melissa is there stuff that like like i mentioned earlier on like i've never seen like i i don't know much about the wuxia genre and like crouching I'll, tiger I'll, hidden I'll, dragon yeah. style stuff like is I'll there stuff one like of those. that that you want to bring to the I, review show i put a lot of stuff on the google sheet i sent you i'm see if I can this is what i want to do is really instead of having things in the back of my mind write it down, have this list. Both of us can go look at the list. And maybe there's some movie I've always wanted to watch. And you're like, I've also wanna, always wanted to watch mm. that thing. I could never work it into a pitch. Let's do it. Indeed, it's, indeed. I think compared to you, you tend to be like, this brand new thing is really hype. Let's watch it. Not purely for like clicks, for just numbers. for sometimes right, right. and i'm more now like then. i'm more like what is this foundational thing i've never seen before sure like yeah. one of the shows i really want to watch next year is the 80s detective dramedy moonlighting mm, i've yes. never seen it before but i've heard like it mentioned so many times in the discussion of the television landscape and we've done like movie history lessons you know where we're like let's watch persona let's go back and watch the original godzilla something like that and it's there's not as many of those to do for television but this is an opportunity to do it like tv history as it existed before like the sopranos came out Mm, it's bs before sopranos it's that era (laughs) of tv history (laughs) we're in the bullshit era of television (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> we're in the bts era before tony soprano nothing to there do with go. that k-pop band <laughs> <laughs> interesting yeah um i mean yeah i i i really kind of want to i i think we have lightning in a bottle with the pilots club i really like that podcast yeah. i don't i don't think it's reached its full potential um <laughs> I like okay. I, I'll I'll be honest with like a 20 to 30 minute show that focuses yeah. on pilot episodes of television and uh, us both being like, well, what did you like? What didn't you like? What worked? Didn't work? You know, just the, the typical stuff that we, we do on the review sh- show. I think that's fine. I also had to get into the like, what is the science behind a pilot yeah, episode what goes formula. into making it and i i would love to eventually do like some interviews on that of like what is it like writing a pilot what is it like pitching one where what is it like filming it um I, I i think we have a really really cool show where we actually have a chance to like truly educate ourselves on stuff so i kind of yeah. want to put a little more oomph 
behind what that. we do yeah. in in the pilots be, club maybe be a bit more strategic like instead of i don't know this show looks interesting let's watch episode one of that and look more at what are really notable pilots specifically yeah i mean i mean i mean yes like i i i want that i still want a good mix of stuff where it's like hey we haven't done an anime in a while no. let's do an anime pilot right um but yes ex exactly of that like let's Let's talk to the creator. Like if we if we just did the pilot of a certain show, let's see if we can interview them and and see if that can also lead to extra stuff. Right? Who knows? Um, but I I I I think we really have something special with that show that we haven't capitalized on yet. I have the hiccups because of all the, I've I've had two beers and, and a shot. I'm very slightly buzzed. Very <laughs> slightly. I, I, I have the hiccups. <laughs> I think those cancel each other out and you can just say flat out buzzed. Maybe. I'm I, 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 had guess, my wine. I don't know. I'm going to see Wonka after this. And I, my nice. original plan was, yeah, let's pregame. Let's have a real buzzy Wonka. And since then I've learned the movie is sincerely very good. Let's or get Willy for Wonka. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so yeah that's kind of my goal next year i know on the review show i've uh I, I i like exploring new genres that i've never like we've never really touched before um i think our 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 trailer reactions tend to do pretty good on youtube i would like to do some some stuff that is like not necessarily disney or marvel or superhero related i always like to be like let's, let's do something that's outside of that let's let's do tend can, to go on and that i feel side of things that's what has the excitement or if you're there is a nerd like that or if you i mean for you or like for me i will get really pumped for this movie that was a big hit at sundance has been acquired by neon and it's gonna release in theaters like show me the trailer for past lives something like yeah. that and i don't yeah. know how to take my enthusiasm for it and give it to you it'll have to be well, that, I mean, that's I, part I, of the fun. It's like we are we are reacting to the trailer, even if it's something we've never heard of or like you're excited about this thing, but I've never he he heard of it or the other way around. I think there's there's interesting stuff that can come out of just like we we don't know what this is or I don't know what this is or you don't know what this is. Um, and we'll, we'll see what we think. I might be super hype and Melissa might be like, Kyle, you're an idiot. Why do you like this stuff? No. You're weird. I, Why am I here? I quit. Uh, <laughs> no, I, the only thing that ever bugs me is when I have to have emotions on a schedule. <laughs> you don't have to have emotions on a schedule. No, but it's like... the the only, like if oh, when 3 34 when I, melissa time for excitement <laughs> I, you know what it's like when you bring me a show and you're like everybody loves this i've heard such great things about it let's do it and when i don't have the freedom to like approach it at my own time or watch it on my own speed or like dive into it on my own level sometimes i i feel a little itchy when it's like i am obligated to think an hour's worth of thoughts about this thing and i just don't sure. have the capacity for that right now Un understandable understandable uh ignacio i don't think we've ever really done trailer reactions for video games but that's totally on the table if yep. if you're ever like hey they just announced the next metal gear solid without kojima uh Let's do a trailer reaction to that. That'd be cool too. That's yeah, fun. that'd be cool. I I think that noteworthy game trailers are not don't come out very often. I think that for movies, we get them at like E three or the Game Awards. Yeah, or, or you have your GTA five, GTA six trailer coming out. Or, sure. Yeah. Or like you said, if they announce a new middle here, those are events. 
rather than for movies, I think that it is more. I think that games come out more frequently, or there are more coming out on a frequent basis. They just have different why. systems. Yeah. Um. But 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 yes, that is on the table sure. in case we want to do stuff like that. Um, sure. Yeah. Um, Melissa, I know you need to go very shortly here. Um, so we can kind of wrap things up uh, a bit here. Let me see if I can uh, at least get like let's end the podcast on a few stats. I, I always like to have a, a, f- a few interesting stats um for for the the whatnots uh i am pulling up our youtube page so i can get into all of our stuff um so i am according to youtube here's some so a lot of our videos there's a few of them that have like skyrocketed and they've it's they've been up there for a few years in a row of like these are our most watched videos um but here's an interesting one it, uh, are in the fifth spot of our most watched full length podcasts number 5 is season 1 of fringe ah yeah with uh 4251 views good um which is interesting uh of course our most watched Video is on Paprika, and we got Triple R, 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 uh, Money Heist, and Valerian, and the City of a Thousand Planets is still up there in our Weird. top We've, four. Yeah, I will so say, I, I don't have access to all the back-end stats like you do. All I can do is go to our YouTube page and look at the view counts like any civilian can. I am surprised when our episode on The Mask will randomly have 400 people who watched it. Like, who's yes, talking I about The Mask right now besides us? Get to that in just a sec. Uh, so, yeah, then, like, also, like, other weird things. Titan AE is still in our sixth spot of, like, most watched. It's like, what? Who? Titan AE? Are you? Okay, sure. Uh, Paddington one and two is 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 in seventh. Dimension four oh four. Hey, cool is is still up there as one of our most watched. Uh, the Metropolis anime uh is still up there. Midnight Diner is still up there. Happy Valley has like six hundred and fifty seven views. We are at you incredibly small youtube channel compared to oh, yeah. a lot of things so 600 v- views on something is wild for, for, yeah. for us we're just like whoa we went viral uh but that's not actually the case um uh our paper g- g- girls episode one reaction is up there with 500 something views our trailer reaction for venture bros radiance <sighs> is the blood of the baboon heart uh, is up there with 519. Our trailer reaction for Drops of God uh, up there with 510. This is kind of why I like to do those like random niche things that are not Marvel and DC because like like we mentioned it on that trailer reaction. We're like, I don't think many other people are doing trailer reactions on this thing. And here you go. One of our most viewed things. Uh, we got our Paper Girls episode one through four review, which I did by myself. Uh, 492 reviews. Fringe season two, a review show with 483 views. Um, yeah, The Mask with 460 views. We did this like two weeks ago. 460 views. Who watched this? How did this get 460 views? Who is talking about the mask in 2023 and into 2024 besides us? Maybe there's a real intense like mask RPG community and we just don't know them. Maybe if we go to AO3 and type in the mask, there's thousands of fanfics. We don't know. We tapped into a secret subculture we weren't aware of here. 
Um, I, I think we've also stumbled upon some weird, interesting thing that happened with our view count and YouTube, and I'm not sure if there were bot views doing mm. this stuff. Because after the mask, we then have Strangers in Paradise with 418, and uh, Tech on Kincrete, which is now a private video. This is from our old The Whatnots podcast. You can only get that on our website. Um, and then after that is the Bob's Burgers holiday special, which we just recorded last week with 550 views, which is more than the mask. But however, they're still listing it below all the things that have like 408. Views. Huh. I, I don't know why this is listed lower, especially when I'm going by view counts and stuff there. Um, so. That stuff is interesting. Our Tetris reaction, our Tetris trailer reaction uh, did pretty <laughs> well, good. Have, That's up there. I do have to leave I don't soon. Know why. We've done the top 10. I yeah, thank you for I, this I information, just, but you don't have to keep going down this place. <laughs> I'm just looking at this first page here. We're at the end. That's all I kind of wanted to mention okay. anyway. Way I is. Um, we did switch over to a new hosting service, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, d d d that just means our like total view counts for all the podcasts have restarted from zero. Um, so there's not much in interesting stuff happening over that way. But yeah, interesting stats. I, I don't know how f Fringe C Season 1 is our like number five people spot love French. Well, yeah it's good it's great people don't talk about fringe enough so so we had to <laughs> we're the only ones doing it it's good it's fun uh cool well i say we wrap things up right around there uh ignacio do you have any kind of final words things you want to say uh Beefs that you have with Melissa or me. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I think more, more you than Melissa. This is fine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, no, I don't have anything to say other than that. I am proud of what you guys have done throughout the years. You're still holding down strong the Wadnuts ship. Uh, so, congrats, guys. Thank and yeah, I don't know, thanks. I don't know what the year will hold for us, for me here, but I'll try to pop up every once in a while. Yeah, Ho ho Show hopefully we have you on a few epi episodes of the review show and the captain's lo log. Um, yeah. That'll be, that'll be fun indeed. And of course, always the reactor core too, so. Mm -hmm. Melissa, any kind of final thoughts here you want to add on? No, not really. I got to go uh, get buzzed at a Cheesecake Factory in Wonka. But this has been a lot of fun. I think we do good work here. It's a lot of fun. I'm excited for us to retool things in the next year <laughs> and maybe do uh, a little bit of a quality over quantity thing we're going to try. I, yeah. don't, I think it'll go well. Yeah, indeed. Exactly. Uh, thank you, everyone, for checking us out, uh, whether it was just a single episode or if you have been with us for a long, long time. Uh, we appreciate you. We love you a lot. Thank you so much. Um, Patreon.com slash the whatnots if you want to th throw us your life savings. Uh, that, that helps us out a ton. Uh, all of that stuff goes back into the shows we make. We don't get paid off of this. This is just stuff that we do for fun for the love of it but yeah that is it that is the eighth annual whatnots grand prix thank you so much for watching uh ignacio where can the people find you on the internet they can find me on twitter at ignacio rojas b that's i-g-n-a-c-i-o-r-o-j-a-s-b and melissa where can they find you letterboxed at wilkywit w-i-l-k-y-w-t there you go you guys can find me at yo kyle springer uh on most of the social media places and if you would like to stay up to date uh with us here at the whatnots we are at the whatnots official on threads uh so go find us over that way if you're watching this on youtube go check out more of our videos over there that side that would help us out a ton uh happy holidays happy new year 
Hope you guys have a fun and safe time. We will see you all next year. Bye. Bye. Bye.